the freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? <laughs> Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. <laughs>
Pretty feet having ass. She is dope, and she's beautiful. Oh, my God. It don't matter. See, Zoe, it's just like my fucked up outfits I be wearing. When you call girls beautiful, it don't count, because he said Whoopi beautiful. (laughs) Whoopi was beautiful. (laughs) Whoopi ain't ugly. It was. Back in the day. Whoopi was a a young Whoopi. A strong seven in the late 70s. Did you hear what he said? Whoopi was a strong seven. and She was a strong seven in the late 70s. What movie was she? That's was right, Eddie Craig. She was Sister Act. Which would be? I'm talking. That's what you see. What you Santa saying? Claus. I'm saying. <laughs> 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 what he say? No, we ain't talking <laughs> which which when was Whoopi bad again? Late seventies, early eighties, strong seven man. What what movie was she in? I forget, man. I don't know the they name. They made of. you say she is seven. A movie when I seen her ass. My ass man. She got she got she got back. got cake. Yeah. It, yeah. You what? know, let me tell you something about all that shit in life. <laughs> Asses dissipate. Where was we at last night, Craig and motherfucking Nate? Where was we at? Oh. At the Marshall Hollywood Lope. Improv. Did y'all see Yo Yo? No, yeah. she was there, the rapper? Y'all didn't see? I didn't see play it. with my Yo Yo. I know huh. she was a Yo-Yo bad one. Bad. She bad. She got ass. It's gone now? Oh my God. <laughs> you about to say Yo Yo's <laughs> ass is gone. Is it, was there, <laughs> I can't. I can't believe. Why don't you it? get her new one for Christmas, nigga? You stupid. <laughs> Y'all didn't see Yo Yo. I didn't no. see it. No, I didn't see it. Yo Yo got a little more weight on her now. Okay. That ain't, that ain't bad. I'm not saying she's not attractive, but I'm saying she got a little more weight on her. Okay. And that ass was looking <sighs> like it was on her calves. Like it was um. <laughs> Like, like she played the Marshalls <laughs> and they're racking the back. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. The regular rack. The half off yeah. ass section. Yeah. Thing. The by, by the Jinko jeans, nigga. <laughs> 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 the flat ass <laughs> section back here at <laughs> Marshalls. In thing. the back by the Machiavelli jean jacket, right. nigga. <laughs> The Pelly Pelly socks. Right. 32% off. <laughs> Corey's outfit. All the way in the back. Fuck it, what yeah. can we get for a section? Oh, <laughs> yeah. She was under the cleats, nigga, in the back. <laughs> but she, you know, normally asses it's get bigger when women get older. No, no. Yeah, disrespect. but if you don't exercise them, right? Right. The, their muscles. Right. So it'll just deplete, and it'll just be, like, soft and mushy. And when you put on tight clothes, it literally can smash it down. That's right. what happened to me. I used to be, like, a muscle leg. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I thought this nigga was for the sale now. Right. Back when I had ass. <laughs> right. Real, so I ain't that's thick. why I wear this kind of fabric. I happen. used to be thick then, what? That shit crazy. Hey, let me ask you a question, though. Let me ask you a question, Corey. Why you think motherfuckers get so up in arms when you dress different? Like, what is it about that? Well, most people shop at the regular places. Most people will go to Foot Locker. Most people will go to um, everything that's easily accessible. When you are bold enough to try different fashion, mm-hmm. it's almost like a a, a knee jerk reaction for motherfuckers to be like, ah, look what you got out there. Right. But then right. later on, right. when, when they catch you by themselves, where well, you get that? Right. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Right. Oh, do they do that? Why? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Do not. <laughs> you got that on. Ta da. Oh, yeah. You get this, the ones he had, my nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when can a nigga get a motherfucking ones, nigga? I did Corey shit on himself trying to boo boo. This is the perfect booty call outfit. Hell <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hell yeah. Got that shit. Put it Are right back on. Yeah. This is how Corey take a shit. It's Come off like the grandmama in the clumps. Hell uh, like, oh. yeah. Here's what you want, nigga. Come down now. You're going to limp back. Dress like, oh. dress like you sell Christmas sleighs, nigga. That's the. <laughs> that's the oh. that, <laughs> Wait, you say he's dressed like a Christmas sleigh? He's like he sells sell like sell sell Christmas, sell Christmas sleighs. sleighs. Yeah. This one here, yeah, this is the one. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> this got the turbo, nigga. You slay <laughs> four thousand oh, right here, my man. nigga. <laughs> that's your <laughs> fault. Darlene rubbing my shit. Oh I shit. Didn't see, I didn't know if it was like crocheted in there. Is this velvet? <laughs> 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 Last week you said she be, you said she be sneaking them in. She <laughs> does that. Is this velvet? Didn't it look like she sneaks them in? Uh, <laughs> yeah, velvet. Mm. He bought that in Aspen, nigga. I can't. 
<laughs> he bought that in the Alps. Man, that's really a one. Yes, you can't. This Rump, nigga, romper yeah. from Redondo. I might have to look. I might have to change him later. This nigga though. trained Rudolph to make his nose yeah. turn red. Yeah. Yeah. Say Nate looked like a fat three yeah. liter seven up bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn, a three liter nigga that doesn't even exist. Hey, they ain't got hey, this. What's this though? That's the sweatshirt. Yeah. You what's your about? sweatshirt say? This for the culture, man. Fuck your monkey and your jungle. <laughs> H&M and M. That's the clap back from that motherfucker. H and M. Yes. H&M and it don't get old, but y'all to be like, what can they buy that? NateJacksonComedy.com slash store. They gonna fuck, fuck with you. Call a real ass nigga for saying this where you could go. They gonna sure. fuck with you. And my shit set up too, so if you order it, you gonna have the motherfucker in the middle of next week. Yeah, nice. right, motherfucker. Don't, yeah. Fuck, don't fuck the mortars up. Yeah, 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 nigga. <laughs> my <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> shirt, nigga. I ain't gotta do it myself. <laughs> what my sprite shirt? And I got long ones for all you wheelchair niggas. Corey said be watching us. Uh-oh. You can put it down over your wheels. Oh, the whole cart. So you well, think people should protest? Protest what? H and M. Yeah, we should protest. Anybody who's making money off the culture like that, fuck them. Mm. Speaking of protests. Speaking okay. of protests, uh, I know this is going to burn some bridges for me. <laughs> but I got to get it in. Okay? Oh, Which one? shit. I got to get it Baby! in. Baby! <laughs> right. Go uh, <laughs> 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 ahead. Baby! Baby! <laughs> Baby! Oh, Baby! Um, look, this is what's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, wait a minute. Netflix oh, I and chill. Mm-hmm. I think I'm having Bangor, Bangor, because those, oh, okay. Um, I want to say this about, I want to speak on what happened with the sister Monique. Oh, yeah, see, oh, baby. baby. That's why I did the arm fat jiggle. <laughs> I, I got I got to right. I got to <laughs> talk about this shit, man, because I saw some arm inadequacies <laughs> in her demonstration, you dig? Mm. On motherfucking uh, Slay Show. That's Man. his name? Yeah. Sway. Sway, my bad. Sway, Sway the morning. My bad. I, I know Sway from doing an interview with him and everything. He mad cool. But I got to say this. On Sway's interview with the sister, um, she was mad about um, the money that Netflix offered her. And I want to say, because she was putting people on the spot, like, do you think I deserve the 20 million and all this? I got to say this. <clears throat> Look, I want to say to any nigga out here in the entertainment game, I hope you get $100 million. I want you to get all the motherfucking money you can get out this motherfucking cold-blooded, dirty-ass, rotten game. Mm-hmm. But the sister was talking about other people's money. Yeah. Right. right. She put that shit out there about everybody on the show, what they paid us was under a million dollars. So I know the other actors and actresses was like, damn, motherfucker. You putting our shit How out the there. fuck you putting our shit out there? Right. Why everybody got to go down because you mad? Right. Not only the actors, the brother who put me in two movies named Will Packer, uh-huh. his name was thrown under the bus. Right. Uh, because... She said, he promised us a three-movie deal and all this shit. He put you in a movie. Right. What are you talking about? So right. because the other movie shit didn't come through, now he gets shit on? Right. I know that she said shit about the homie D-Ray. He clapped back on mm-hmm. his shit. Yeah, he said something about that shit. He so tried she, to be discreet. What did she say? Well, she was putting his business out there. Specific. And, in other words, instead of saying, look, I didn't get what I... Right. Should have gotten. She was too specific about other people's. Figures. Oh, That's she, what put, I'm his mo- he put, she like, put his money out. Don't throw everybody under the bus. Yeah. And and also, uh, I'm gonna tell you, this is another thing she did that was very, very, um, um, it was fucked up to her. She was claiming legend. Oh yeah. Right. Let me tell you something. You, I'm, I'm glad niggas on here, and I want everybody <laughs> to see this shit. When you, when you self claim legend, that's a red flag. Right. You have to be a legend and it's declared <laughs> by the people. Right. People. The people make you a legend, not you can't self claim legendary status. Not at because all. didn't Amy Schumer do that though? But she a white bitch. <laughs> Amy Schumer is a white bitch. Hollywood is gonna give Caucasian males and Caucasian females the shot Presidents money to be right. rich. Right. right. They don't give niggas money to be rich like that. Right. That's not what Hollywood does. No, not at all. Dave Chappelle got $60 million 
from Netflix because Dave Chappelle ain't got to claim legendary status. But guess what? They were selling his TV show DVDs in the barbershop. Right. That's some legendary shit. Right. <laughs> when motherfuckers like, you got, you got that Chappelle show? Right. You dig it? I got season three. My right, baby. nigga. Right. That Chappelle show, nigga. Mm -hmm. And the reason they do that shit is because Dave Chappelle was able to take his brand and turn it into a TV show. Make it iconic. Right. Yeah. Right. A legend. That's not no easy shit to do, Nate. No. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Craig, uh, turning your own jokes into a legendary TV show. Not at but all. But that's what you should strive to do because that way motherfuckers know you. Yeah, your brand. Right. Don't do slapstick comedy and expect to be a legend. Right. I have some more detail on that because I was going to cover that a little later. What, what, what so you I'm, got on that? I'm glad you brought it up because they, when, when asked, when they asked next Netflix, right, to help explain how they determine the pay for her, and they said that they don't comment on people's contract negotiations. However, they did say that that's what they believed Monique would bring in. And then she countered and said, oh, well, what about my resume? And they said, uh, we don't go off resumes. And then she countered again and said, well, what about Amy Schumer? What, why did she get that? And they said Amy Schumer had just sold out the time that they gave her her deal to Madison Square Gardens twice in one weekend and had a hit movie that summer. She so white. Right. Why everybody scared to talk what it is? Amy Schumer ain't finna starve in Hollywood because she white. While she getting her shine, she gonna make enough money for when she through, she can lay on her ass. Right. They don't pay black people like they pay white people in Hollywood. Right. Right. happening. Well, I mean, an, an, an accomplishment doesn't always equate to relevance. Not at all. You, you, go. you, you got Say that again. Accomplishment doesn't always equate to relevance. At that moment, So yeah. you, you won the Oscar... <laughs> But it was a serious role. It wasn't comedy, right? So now she won an Oscar for what? Playing a beating that. Remember the, for, the, 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 the it was the precious. worst parent ever in a movie. <laughs> but, uh, but that's what I'm saying. You right. name a parent in a movie. <laughs> what was the motherfucker? Carrie Mama. <laughs> Carrie Mama was bad, nigga. <laughs> Did you see Monique's performance <laughs> in that <laughs> fruit booty ass <laughs> nigga <laughs> who wrote that shit? Lee Daniels. Lee Daniels is the king of making black people look stupid. If you want an Oscar, be in one of his movies because he going to make you look so stupid uh. that white people going to be like, we got to give him an Oscar for that. Uh, He's yeah. the worst parent ever. The no. worst parent uh. ever in a movie. Holly oh, yeah. Berry got an Oscar for what? Some degrading shit. Denzel got an Oscar for what? Some degrading shit. They don't go off your quality work. White people give you an Oscar to make a fool out of you. What's Man. this brother that's winning all these awards for the dramatic role? A homosexual, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, but I can't wait till we find out. I don't know, but Because if he in the game yeah. and he getting shit, because I saw that movie that didn't even make no money at the theaters, and they turned it into something. What was the name of that? Blue, Blue oh, yeah, Light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fruit booty shit. Midnight. Uh, <laughs> whatever the shit is. Moonlight. 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 It blew up because they was like, Get these dick in the ass niggas <laughs> some recognition because that's what we, we want them to be the Don Lemon ass motherfuckers in the game. That's old what old Don Lemon, say. new Don Lemon is woke to the bitch. New Don Lemon is mad because he did everything that they told him, right. and now he realized you motherfuckers ain't gonna do right by me. <laughs> that's what's head. wrong with Don <laughs> Lemon. This uh, shit. He got on the onesie too. <laughs> right, Don <laughs> Lemonade. Hey, you know, oh, sorry. Oh no. Go I was ahead, on limited. Oh, no, go ahead, yeah, yeah, we, we, a, we ain't gonna talk over each other. We gonna yeah, all get it yeah, in, though. Yeah, you know what I mean? For sure. And I think she, her thing is there's, there's no clarity in her argument. You know what I mean? She doesn't know she wants wants it to be a feminist issue or a racial issue. You know, and uh, and that's the problem. You know, I mean, who who has her back? I mean, who's speaking out for? Her? Well, well, she said her husband's speaking out for her, but I'm not here to motherfucking necessarily be the bad guy, but. You making your husband look bad because a real nigga ain't finna let his wife that's representing him right. go out here in the streets and shit on everybody. He gonna be like, hold on, we ain't gonna do it like yeah, that. Yeah, it's we ain't finna motherfucking talk about what we gotta talk about, but we ain't finna put them people business right. out there like it's that. It's a way right. to do it. It's a way to do it. There's a half truth in what she's saying. That, that, tr that part of the truth is African Americans are routinely paid less. 
So there's the truth there. The initial right. argument. With right. every right. network. Right, with right. everybody right. In, in, in entertainment. Right. 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 But if you're going to make that argument, don't include all of your peers right. to make your argument because then what happens is, like you said, to you're putting you. everybody's business out in the street without their consent. It's not like you guys are a coalition that you right. call for that you know, called and say yeah. you gonna ride with me. Right, on you didn't this? contact the nigga union. Right, you feel me? You so just blasted everybody. You you got that aspect. Not just the the people who she's work snitching. With he got drugs on him. The producer, Will Packer. Yeah, a motherfucker who I ain't gonna lie. Will Packer is getting shit done. But people think because he a nice guy yeah. and he's approachable that he supposed to kiss everybody ass. Right. That's really what is Will Pack a problem because when I notice when he's around people, he don't act like he above you. No. Right. He the homie. Yeah, I've no. seen him in Miami. He the homie. He talked right. to you for real. He was in Miami just poolside kicking and talking to everybody. That's what I'm Will Pack a 100, motherfucker. If he told you he was going to put you in three movies, he probably had intentions to do it. Right. But what about all the bridges you burnt with, motherfuckers, that he'll bring you in front of? Right. Mm-hmm. And she not listening to her, nigga, because there's too much emotion in that. This business has no emotion in it. There's no feelings you know uh i was just gonna say uh wanda sykes i don't know if you heard about this because she Came stepped out. up yeah. yeah she stepped up and she said uh i i i too was offended about what they offered me and she said i feel monique what she's speaking on i was offended but she said i found another home to do mine right that's how she put it well that's what you got to do this is what i to, think let me tell you something man. let me, let me, let me, let me go, go ahead go ahead nate get it in i just want to say this right quick get it in because to a certain extent, we say the industry is a certain way and, and, and Netflix behaves a certain way and Comedy Dynamics and Naysell or whoever's shooting these specials are behaving a certain way about who they offer. What if that was her real value? What if the way that they check an artist, that's what they come back with? Analytics. What if, what if Amy Schumer was an outlier? They got carried away. They already had two legends, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, and then here comes this white girl and they're like, let's just get, her, let's just get near it. And then if you watch her special, unanimously people say it was underwhelming. They say she stole almost all of Patrice O'Neal. They have an hour and 48-minute video on YouTube of her doing jokes right after the original person doing the jokes. Nothing was original. So they give her 13. They offered 10. She pushed back and got 13. I'm going to give you examples of Amy Schumer. So now they say we didn't get our value back. Yeah. That's what was the so, bitch name? Chelsea Lately? Yeah. Chelsea Chelsea Handler. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea Handler used to be out there on the road doing comedy, but... It was hype. Ah, uh, then it went down like this. Mm-hmm. You remember when motherfucker, what's the nigga who got AIDS? Charlie Sheen. Yeah. He was doing shit, but he didn't have nothing to say. Right. So he can't keep doing that. Right. Because it goes down fast. Yeah, you right. Lost yourself. Amy you the Schumer same right. the same way. Mm-hmm. She why she hot? They letting this bitch make money because that's what they do to them. Right. New edition got the hustle. Mm. Motherfucker in sync, they just get it. Yeah, right, they right. get it. Period. This is how the game go. If you white, you will be carried through the trials and tribulations of the game. If you your black, right. you gonna get slapped in the face every motherfucking day. Swim, Why are you hot? Ride that race. surfboard. Right, right. Because right. motherfucking, you do not want to bring back the Par- Parkers and call that show iconic. Mm. Right. That is slap stick. Right. Comedy. Yeah. When you was so, dancing at the awards and Beyonce was in the crowd, it was your got me going so crazy right yeah. there with all the big girls. The that's Chris Farley-ish. That's not <laughs> that's not legendary shit. No, it's, it's not. not. Motherfuckers will say I'm dissing, but I'm not. I'm talking for real. That ain't no shit. Okay, you do that. They had a Simpsons episode one day when Bart blew up. Yeah, I'm saying, hey, what did it go? What did he do? And he was going on concert to see that shit. But right. by week three, he said, he went out there. Where did it go? And the they showed the like, audience like. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right, they <laughs> over it. <laughs> you, you can't slapstick your way through the game. Monique got money while she was motherfucking hot. Monique was making good money while she did her TV show. She was on. They did the Queens of Comedy. Right. Which, by the way, all of this hot and heatness we're talking about is 15 years ago. Is it 15 wow, years yeah. ago? Yes, yeah, so right. 2018. We talking about late 90s. And I love no, no, no. The Queens of Comedy and shit was going on when I first moved out here. That's why I know. So 2000s? Yeah. Either way, I did a date in Seattle on the Kings talking, of Comedy. You talking? <laughs> see, I did. But you still? I was talking, proud of it. I didn't talk, make no money because right. the nigga who was promoting the shit, a thirsty ass sucker ass nigga, yeah, who uh, stole on a motherfucker one day. One of the comics, even though the nigga, the comic he stole on is a nigga that he would steal on. 
some nigga named Ray. <laughs> Lebowski. Right. When you get stole on, it's because that nigga feel the still on you. I ain't mad at him. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if the nigga would have stole it's on nigga. me, I wish, I'm like, just like what the shit that happened in, in South Carolina with Steve Brown. Right. That shit is crazy. Oh, we're gonna yeah. talk about that too. Oh well, <laughs> oh shit. God, this God. shit is. Everybody know this news <laughs> yeah. in South Carolina like at this puss ass down. club that I have played before. I, gave you I don't play the club no more because the up. owner died. He's talking about the it. old man who used to own the club died, but his wife running. She a racist bitch who tried to charge comics for food and everything oh, wow. and well, lowball them on the play. Nobody came out. That's I what I'm saying. I watched that the, for all that time and no security and that not used to be audience. One of, that used to be one of the premier comedy clubs around the country wow. that's black because it wow. used to be a grocery store. That was a comedy it's house? It's set up thick. It's a big... There it, it is. Yeah. Right, I had to pick this up. shit right here. Steve Brown is a motherfucker who do shit. i put it like this. He ain't no angel, but... That motherfucker ran up on stage on Steve Brown. Wow. And I'm here to tell you, Steve Brown, if you watching, my nigga, you held your own he against sure that nigga. Did, right. That's why the coward ass nigga picked up the mic stand, endangered the whole crowd. Cause when swing he tried it, to yeah. swing it, the bottom thing came off. That yep. thing weighed how much? Oh my God. Oh, 20 pounds. pounds. He yeah. could have killed somebody. somebody. Yeah, yeah, man. Lost yeah. Steve Brown. You held your own on that nigga. And I'm Bob here to tell you, to, yeah. when that nigga hit you with that stool, That's you did connected. good not trying to fight back. Mm -mm. You need to get at them people because they owe for you real. because yeah. that was too long for somebody not to come up there yes, I could not and stop it. it. Yeah. Right. They let it, that fight carry on. Just let it go like it was a spectacle. No, when ridiculous. I used to work there, they used to have police security. But since the old man died who owned it, that old racist bitch don't give a fuck. She just hustling the nickels and dimes she can right. till it go away. Okay. Mm. That's all that is with that club. Shout out, that. shout out to uh, Steve Joe Brown. Steve Brown against yeah. that nigga. He Root said, to the kills, doggy. He said that he's okay. That cold Irish boxing style. Right? Man, I'm telling you, man, I'm <laughs> nah, that nigga, he looked like a, like a Q when we be yeah. going to the green, the red. We be wrestling. Oh, that nigga was like, waiting. He was going to shoot, <laughs> shoot, nigga, <laughs> shoot. He <laughs> should when, when the nigga hit him with the mic stand, that's when he should have engaged. Like, you going to take you that hit. No, but see, the mic stand, the mic stand was cutting through that air too quick. He knew, let me just get out the way every time. Man, it was lucky. But that stool, after it hit him. He wow. took about five steps no, to the dude. The like I'm about to. And the nigga left. Yeah. Leave it alone. Cause you got more shit. Came back. Did you your livelihood back? don't end tonight. Yeah. You don't want him to look like you was aggressively trying to get at him. That's true. Right. Yeah. Yep. This that nigga fucked up coming on that stage. Oh, he about to do back. some time. He about to do some real time. Hell yeah. Aggravated assault. Oh yeah. I, I saw he that. needs to do some time. Hit yeah. the motherfucker with a mic stand. A nigga, you fighting head up. You go to assault with a deadly weapon. That's true. I'm here to tell you. If the nigga would have had that mic stand, I would have wanted to get. Hit with it, but he I'm did. there now. That's right. Because you fluffy. Right. <laughs> 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 as long as that nigga don't oh. poke my eye or stick me in the throat. <laughs> yeah, right. Hopefully you got that onesie on when it happens, nigga. <laughs> 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 Damn it. Ah. Nighty Corby nighty. hit nigga, Merry Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two that presents that and a biscuit. That you, that know he, you know he slapped this girl before he jumped up there. And his mom, and and her mom. Yeah, she was oh, telling him to quiet dude, down. No he wonder. said, "Shut up!" And she slapped her, and then jumped on stage. No, oh, no, yeah. he slapped her, and he put hands on the mama, and then yeah. he went up there. Oh, he a oh, real bitch ass nigga. Yeah, 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 he a whole oh, ass God. nigga to the heart. And what what, what I what I heard was he actually did all that shit and got escorted out. What we saw was after he fought through three, That's four niggas and got out. on stage after all of that. Wow. He'd already been put out and he came back in. Told some nigga get off me. You saw that part? Yeah. Then, why niggas be scared of niggas because they tall? I don't give a fuck, man. Nigga, that height ain't shit. <laughs> now, I be Get off me. Niggas, I be scared of niggas to get this or them uh, four arms because I be looking at niggas. I be uh, like, little niggas Popeye niggas, arm niggas. Yeah. Popeye arm niggas and put your ass to sleep in front of him. Uh, that's why you only take certain niggas with you on the road, man. <laughs> shit like that go down, boy. Oh, yeah. That's real <laughs> shit. Man. That's real shit, he didn't even need nobody to just. He just needed somebody to come up and hug this nigga. Just mm, nigga, you yeah. no, that's it. Just nah, that nigga, hug did, him that and, nigga and needed to be knocked out. That he nigga needed, needed to, to yeah. be in the ICU yeah. for a couple of months. Dog. He yeah. deserved to be. He needed to time. be sleeping here in that beeping sound. Deet. Yeah. Deet. 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 And you hear that sound for about two months and shit, you be like, man, I don't want no trouble, man. Yeah. I don't want to hear that shit I again. I made a lot of mistakes my in my life. Nigga slapping your bra, then running up on stage on a nigga you don't even know. 
Uh, whatever the fuck Steve said, somebody told me the real story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Somebody told me the real yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about why he looks, or something about his. Well, they was trying each other. Steve, okay. the, the, I, I guess Steve, man, look, man. Like why he looked down. I don't, I okay. know Steve do cutthroat shit. Yeah. But I don't think Steve, no punk motherfucker who finna let some motherfucker get the best of them. And when they came on that stage and they was going at it, them niggas was going at it, then the whole ass nigga picked up the mic stand. You a whole ass nigga for Maybe that. Maybe he saw how big Steve was when he got That's up there. That's what happened. Niggas yeah. realized, yeah. Oh, this nigga ain't no bitch. Yeah. 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 He ain't going to be the pushover. I thought he wasn't. <laughs> this tall <laughs> shit ain't working. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't back down. Tall. He didn't back down. I can't connect shit. Let me pick up something here. I was going to fight this nigga 6'9", but he was that tall, wiry 6'9". I said, dog, I'm telling you, man, that height ain't going to motherfucking help you. That reach, You're going to get that good... Dot that, but then I'm at you. Yeah, you in when there. I grab you, mm. we wrestling, nigga. And that's a whole nother ball game. And I use my chin, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh this nigga Corey be biting niggas. Uh. I'll bite the shit out of this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get on top of this nigga. I, I must be on top. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga it's gonna be this one thing everywhere. Biting niggas. <laughs> uh. Niggas forget that nigga, chin. A chin is a, a nigga, chin. you all in here, nigga, on your, on your, yeah, yeah. yeah. get this nigga off me, nigga. Come on, man. I was playing about your outfit. <laughs> Use his chin as a weapon, <laughs> nigga. Look at that wrestling dog. If you would have put your chin on Aries, all that shit would have ended quick. Oh. Aries would have kissed you, nigga. Oh my! <laughs> Let's go saying that low ass nigga name. Say yeah. Gooey yeah. Raccoon. Yeah. Oh, we can't say his name. We no. can, but he fuck that nigga. We ain't say no last name. Oh, That's I'm talking true. about the birthstone. Right. Oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. nigga stupid as hell. This nigga named after the God of War. Ball up. Shit. He's not gonna whoop me, so I don't give a fuck. I'd have pepper sprayed him and then beat him. I'm gonna say anything I want. I said I'd have pepper sprayed him and then beat him up. Yeah, he got a blind ass whooping, huh? This dude who jumped on stage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That that, that pepper spray cold, dog. Yeah. Once again, your eye, you you weren't ready for that? I don't owe you a fair one. If I don't know you like that, I don't owe you a fair one. Yeah, that pepper spray ain't no joke. You be like uh, Jack Nicholson in that first Batman. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't getting beat on. Yeah. Boom. But they had this night. <laughs> <laughs> they had this right. nightclub in Seattle back in the day, right? It was called um, Heavens. And at the end of the night, they used to have so many fights that security would walk through the club with the canisters of pepper spray, yeah. and they would they would shoot it straight down while they walked through the club to clear the club out. I'm talking about every Saturday night, the club would end okay. with people outside on the sidewalk like, God damn, we would leave early. Like, we got to get out of here before they start that pepper spray yeah. push. But, but didn't you just, I found it. They got sued. The club is closed. It's got a whole <laughs> new name now. <laughs> yeah, that. No, nobody from the audience jumped up either. Took well, forever. eventually somebody nobody got bold enough yeah, to yeah, step up there and be like, cool out. Right. But the, I'm telling you the reason motherfuckers didn't do nothing because dude, stature. Right. He looked like he was big. But he was a bitch because he real. fought with a motherfucking mic stand one on one with a man. I didn't know how that shit go either. When you pick up a weapon, yeah, and you got a stick, if uh-huh. a motherfucker pop your ass, oh, he gonna beat that shit. Yeah, I was scared for my life. That right. motherfucker had a stick. Yeah, yeah. If Steve would have shot him twice. He the one. Buck three times. It's all uh-huh. right. So that was that was over. You did too much. Look through this black hole. You about to hear this sound. Lie! You felt that? It's been <laughs> one, nigga. <laughs> Lie! This nigga Corey Gunn singing Christmas carols. Lie! Ba la 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 la. <laughs> the chat is broken, nigga, because I know they've been roasting the shit out that outfit. Oh, you didn't explain oh, yeah. it. It's probably for it's sometimes bro. he has Frank? to refresh it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And Genevieve's it. not here, so it's. Uh, yeah. Nigga, call me a three liter, man. Fuck y'all today, man. Oh, oh, we was oh, friends. You I saw that laugh. You was like, ah Because uh, yeah. <laughs> my mind, I'm like, does that even exist, nigga? Yeah. The three liter? The creativity. They got a, if they the had three liters, yeah. you would buy them, that's, his, <laughs> that's that big Shasta bottle, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I get a mango madness three liter. Yeah. Big ass fuego, don't nobody drink. <laughs> fuego. <laughs> Tastes like pancake syrup. <laughs> RC Cola, nigga. <laughs> he Cola. Oh man. Anyway, man. So, uh, nah, man. I, I, I mean, back on that shit. I, I was talking about with, with Monique. I know motherfuckers gonna show it to her, and she gonna be <laughs> mad. But okay, after you mad, just think about what I said. I wasn't really trying to diss you. I'm just saying you gotta look at what you've done. You gotta look at how you going about it. You right. can't. You can't shit. I know what happened at BET. 
<laughs> I know niggas who work there. You got this motherfucking dyke bitch gave you a show, <laughs> and you fucked that up. Wait, so How you fucked that up? They was rooting for you. You got ahead of yourself. So basically, Corey, though, let me ask you. You're not, you, you agree with the initial complaint, what? what she started. In other words, talking about, wow, you know, she was, she was not down with what they were trying to offer her. Then she <coughs> went and further started pushing the issue, but then started bringing other people's names and figures in, right? Because in the beginning, so in other words, you're down with what she's complaining about. I just don't think nobody finna give her. You talking about the way, oh, okay. I don't think nobody finna give her no do you know what I'm saying? millions like of it. dollars for what she do. Right. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I think I think the issue becomes how she handles it. It's there one thing go. to feel right. like she was being uh, I want, offered I want, lower. I hope we I want hope, her to get the world. Sure. Cause I if hope she do, we do. give her right. a hundred million dollars. I hope they give you a hundred million dollars, but because you didn't get your way, don't go stomping and he did it too. You did the Kobe. Right. Whoa. You know what I mean? oh, yeah, he brought Shaq hey, in and he was like, hold up. Kobe. Wait a hey, minute. Kobe's Kobe. a monster, yeah. man. Uh, hey, don't a ever bring up Kobe. Nigga. And I bet if Damn God it. too was ever around a guy, I'd be like, you know what? Fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> if I met him. Right. <laughs> I ride just with like Kobe. I be, I don't like meeting certain motherfuckers. I don't like meeting stars or people I like because I'd be scared. I'm going to be like, they going to fuck it up. Yeah. Show me who he was. Well, look at it like this. $500,000 is a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. uh, especially in the African-American community. We make up 2.6% of the nation's wealth, right? 2% mm -hmm. of that is in the hands of baby boomers. The other 0.6% is everybody else. Oprah, Jay-Z, mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. Take that 500000 Right. do a motherfucking you know, Netflix, up, Netflix right? show and, you'll get another one. and then make yourself relevant again. Because this is a this is a question yesterday. of yeah. heat. Right. This is a question of heat. Are you, you not hot? Mm. Get hot. Take this half million. Blow yourself back up, mm -hmm. and now you got momentum. Mm. But Just based get off, off of the blacklist, she that. blackballed. What you said, what you said, was so profound. But check this out. These motherfuckers know they not finna blow themselves back up. No, nah, <laughs> not at all. These motherfuckers know they finished. <laughs> oh shit. These Is motherfuckers she ain't ready to put the motherfucking work in to become. Let me tell you something. You know how you become a motherfucking star? By putting in work, by talking to the people out there and making them people think that you talking to them for real. Making them feel like they can relate to you. Right. But most motherfuckers don't want to talk about what they do for real. They glorify what they do in a way to make it sound good. Mm -hmm. It's like comedians, the reason they make money because they know how to take their pain and make it sound good. Right. That goes for everybody, including yeah. me. Yeah. Take my pain, make it sound good. I bring a lot of my pain to the motherfucking stage. Right. But even I don't bring it all. Right, 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 right. But it ain't right. no shit I'm really scared of out here. Mm. Right. If somebody found out something about me, I'll be like, well, fuck it. It's out there now. Fuck it. What? It ain't shit going on that I'm so ashamed of. I'll be like, oh. <laughs> right. And and, and your you know real your right. real followers are like, yeah, he right. did it. Fuck you. Like, Girl, you you wilding the motherfucker, Gory. <laughs> right. <laughs> you ain't shit for that. But these motherfucking pussy sucking and dick sucking motherfuckers uh -huh. don't want the world to know who they really are. <laughs> I ain't got no problem. That's why they can't step out and be relevant on this internet, which is every fucking thing. Uh -huh. Right. Right. Mm. Those numbers I quoted from uh, an economist and a lawyer. Brother's name is Antonio Moore. Mm. Uh, he graduated from UCLA and LMU. He's an attorney, but he does a lot of work on the, the wealth gap between right. African-Americans and everybody else. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of money to be like, no, nah, I don't want that. I deserve more. And I'm not saying she don't deserve more. I'm saying... Hollywood is based on heat. Right. It's based on heat. Not for black people. Listen, this show, Dave this Chappelle. show right here got more motherfucking watches than some of the TV networks. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Mm. This show ain't on TV because this show don't fit the description of what they want. Mm. They want right. Don Lemon shit. Mm. They want Steve Harvey cornball ass shit. They don't want no 100 <laughs> shit on TV. They won't. I saw an episode of Tyra Banks, that new shit. Uh, what is oh, the, the, shit. The, the shit? The shit? The, the model show? Right, They had right. a black girl on there, and they talked about her, told her she looks too ethnic. 
Did oh, you see this oh, shit? Yeah, yeah, what nah, show was that? The it was one? the Tyra Banks, big forehead ass, put on weave every day, I hide the way I really look. <laughs> Bitch, step to the world how you really look, Tyra. I bet you motherfucking that'll fuck your money up. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, who the fuck is that? Right. They'll be Tyra. like, oh, this bitch the alien off American Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Talk about that cute black girl who had her hair natural. They was talking about the hat she had on. Yeah. She said, the producers told me to put this hat on. I didn't want to wear this. Oh, oh wow. And they still found one, the, the white bitch. First of all, Tyra Banks got... Weirdo niggas around her. That's what they want on TV. Miss, mm. what's the nigga name? Miss J. Oh yeah. That's what they want on TV. That's how they want to represent black people on TV. Bitch, stop trying to tell motherfuckers to stop it's being. It's threatening again. How's you, how you gonna tell somebody black you look too ethnic? Yeah, that's crazy. What? That's you know what? You're too black for our right. taste right, <laughs> right. now. Mm. We want you to fall back a little bit on right. the black. Right. We don't what? want you to be proud of who you are. Fuck out of here. <laughs> or they'd be like, you can be Victor. black, but it got to be ignorant black. Right. No, 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 no. no. This is a shade of black Michael we're Victor. not willing well to pay me. for. Right. 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 He's not Mike educated. Said, but first of all, he need to Take cut his hair. Jail. Oh, no. Nigga, you played in braids, nigga. It was <laughs> jail in your helmet, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? At your prime, your helmet looked like chocolate was in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your helmet was full of pro style oh, at your man. prime. Chocolate? What the fuck is you going to tell a nigga he need to cut, cut his, his hair? Talk about Michael Vick? Yeah. Michael Vick. Yeah. Helmet full of chocolate. Some shit that your dogs couldn't have eaten, nigga. They're allergic. <laughs> That's why you gotta be self-defined, <laughs> though, because if when you're if you're not, then you only work with somebody's willing to pay you. Thank you. You know, and that's her problem. Because you know? they determine what you're worth. Exactly. They told her, but she didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you ain't shit. But she that's ain't what listening. they said yeah. by saying that to her. Yeah. You ain't In shit. We get yeah, you there. Right. You said. want it. Right. Matter of fact, we rescind the offer. Right. <laughs> now go get it the hard way. Yeah, she not gonna get no paper yeah, from from nobody. I what sucks is that what I sucks mean, is I that a bunch of her. people were like, "Nigga, I wouldn't pay for no motherfucking Monique tickets." She did. You could, but that she, may be. So, but you're not her niche. You're not her target market. So it's one thing to feel like you know adamant about not fucking with Monique for a certain amount of money. But Monique she, went she's, on tour. She's proven she, on the road. She had an AEG tour. She took Rodney Perry and the brother Tone X. I'm okay. not knocking near one of them brothers. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. If AEG gave me a budget for a tour, mm -hmm. I can't take who I want to take. I got to take motherfuckers who going to not only bring a good show, motherfuckers who going to sell tickets. Yeah. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. See, Kevin Hart is the motherfucking anomaly out here. He was the phenomenon. Right. Kevin Hart had a tour, and he took who the fuck he wanted to go on the tour, and it just said, Kevin Hart and Friends. Right. That ain't no shit that everybody can do. Not at all. If AEG give you a budget for a tour, you better put on a good show so them people, when they see that shit again, they gonna be like, oh, we going back to that shit. Right, right. Not, oh, I got two motherfucking niggas that, because look, I know Tone X, I know Rodney Perry, mm -hmm. and I hope they ain't mad at me. Right, right. Those are good comedians. Phenomenal. But Rodney P is my bro. Yeah, Rodney I P is my one of my mentors. So. Okay, I hear you. Yeah. I love I love Rodney Perry. Mm -hmm. I hope the best for him. But I'm not finna go and try to sell out a five thousand seat theater with Corey Hogan and Rodney Perry. Right. I can't do it. I see what you're saying. Maybe I can, but I still don't feel good about that. I got to give the people some shit where when they spend their money, mm -hmm. they feel like they saw some names that are marquee names. You get what I mean when I say marquee yeah, yeah, names? Yeah, no, I know exactly what you it mean. It ain't this. And I throw one of them on the show like one at a time. Y'all my homies. Come get this money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Come it's get the, this lit. It's the difference between the Lakers and the Pelicans. They Thank both you. basketball teams, but one is a, a motherfucking classic franchise. Not saying the Pelicans the can't become that franchise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I mean, but when, yeah, you say the flagship franchise of the NBA. Yeah, yeah of the NBA. Yeah. yeah. When was that? Was that tour? Of I Pelicans? think the Lakers had more gay players than any other team <laughs> in the league. I'm just keeping it 100. <laughs> Name three. Of them. Hell no. Uh -oh. Why you gonna put me out there? Exactly. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, know you know how I do it. You know how I do it. Say three gay Lakers, Corey. Damn me, nigga. Damn me. I dare you. Damn me. Santa Claus. Get in here. Magic Johnson. Name somebody less obvious. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> somebody Why that don't got the gay nigga? disease. That nigga crazy. Magic ain't gay. I don't think he gay, but. I don't think he gay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he <laughs> 
right. Oh, this thing is wild as shit. <laughs> That's crazy. crazy. Okay, who else? All right. Nigga, I say it. Nigga, D is like, it, oh, no, 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 no. They had Dennis Rodman playing for them for a while. Yeah. Dennis Rodman, Rodman played for go. everybody. Yeah. But why you Played for about? Chicago, too. Yeah. Exactly. They say Lamar Oldham, Eldon Campbell, A.C. <laughs> Green. <laughs> they ran for everybody. Well, A.C. didn't fuck with him. Cedric Green. A.C. Green. No. A.C. Green was a virgin until he got married. Yeah. That's because he didn't fuck bitches. <laughs> Stop. Man, you can't never that talk about crazy. the Iron Man, A.C. Green. Great, nah. no, you said, I didn't say nothing about him except you said he, ain't, he was a virgin. <laughs> said Devin he said George. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that shit crazy as a motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all clowning. <laughs> Carvalho. <Lava. Like, laughs> yeah. It's the greatest organization in sports, man. Stop hating, Come on, man. Now. Hey, man, look. Let me shit. tell you something. When they had the old man running These shit. These comments are berserk. <laughs> Walker. <laughs> I'm in here like, man, we getting edgy to the motherfucker. The chat updates, and it's every Byron nigga that's Scott. ever they said Byron Scott. No, you can't talk that. Byron, Byron to beat Scott your motherfucking shit, ass, nigga. Byron is an Inglewood <laughs> nigga. He's got to be real deal. Yeah, he's Byron yeah. to beat somebody ass. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. Oh, they got two tough ass daughters, too. I ain't never said he was old. Yeah, Byron to run up on you, nigga. Smush Parker. I said Ronnie Turia. Ronnie, that's my nigga, man. Hollywood is glad <laughs> that shit crazy. Oh, Y'all forgot how many Riley. Riley. This nigga's yeah. name is Coach. That's Riley. AC <laughs> <laughs> Green took iron. Oh, oh man. man. Stop it. It is just oh, a nigga. bunch of haters from all over the country. Man, I don't give a fuck what it is. That shit's hysterical, nigga. Y'all niggas yeah. wild as a Joey motherfucker. Meeks. They keep saying Rick Fox. <laughs> nah, Rick, no. Rick, Rick I ain't never seen Rick Fox oh, on man. no more shit. Rick no. Fox in. Don't say that because can... you got a crush. No, no. He used to jog in my neighborhood, and I would see him, and he's all oiled up with his black oh. shorts. That ain't see him at the Doug Christie. That nigga, I Daisy Dude, the nigga was running down the street naked, chasing another nigga. He was so big. Rick Fox jogging up the Doug Christie. can't even see the truth. Like the teeth. <laughs> I don't know when. That's oh, that's funny, ago. man. Oh, he looks it's good. Lottie Devok. <laughs> <laughs> Lottie Devok. They going in, man. He didn't even Stop. speak English. Uh, <laughs> Give me a name. Every Laker in the last 20 years. Lottie Devok. I Love take Dick. What is he going to do? No, Lakers, I didn't. Man. I wish I did. So how should yeah, Monique have done it differently then? What should have been the approach? <laughs> if you got beef, you could talk about your beef with them people. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, she was too, like you said. Another thing I said, when you claim legendary status, you put yourself on the spot. Mm. Right, right. Legendary status is some motherfucking shit that is really not the thing to do to claim. Um, I'm saying, like, uh, look at your body of work. <laughs> yeah. The Parkers, uh, the BET show, um, you won an Oscar. And I know that ain't nothing you want to talk about. You you got to be smart enough to know Lee Daniels um, is an agent for them people, which is why he going to keep getting opportunities because he's willing to do whatever to shame us in front of them. That's why they, he's allowed to be on them studios. Hmm. Mm. You going? I look, never look. met him. If I met him, I'd be like, Corey, I don't know. But I ain't got no opinion. He aggressive I just gotta too. let you ride out. He one of them aggressive homosexuals. Oh, like what's happening? He'll uh -huh. come at your motherfucking ass. What's up, Dickie? You want? Uh -huh. What's up? You want you trying to do, sir? Uh -huh. You got on a Wednesday. I got on a Tuesday. Right, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what? you trying to do something? <laughs> Let's have yeah. a three Z, nigga. What's the name of that show on Fox? <laughs> Which one? Uh, uh, Empire. Empire. Oh yeah. You want to be part of the That's Empire, hella funnier, nigga? Than yeah. One Z, two Z, and a three Z, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> one Z's in the boozies. <laughs> <laughs> These dudes is uh, crazy. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, well, all right, we, we, we. this what this what I think though. Like like let's talk let's talk uh, healing, right? So for Monique for, Mo, for Monique to 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 snatch some relevance and to get back on top of the situation, I think she has to do what everybody does, which is take her get back out in front of the people and share these experiences. The way yeah. same way Corey said, the way to talk about it is to rationalize with the people. If she get out there in front of her crowd, talk her spirit, her life, and she say her side of this. Right. 
She won't. Ne- she'll never lose the people. Oh, one thing, one thing Monique got. On the Please right. don't do one that. One thing Monique got you can't take from her. She got that stage presence. Uh, yeah. She know how to talk I that love, shit yeah, no, and I capture your audience. audience. Right. I always give her that. And in the movies, I mean, like I'm saying, that almost Christmas, she did a good job when it's time. See, when motherfuckers got to do their little role where they doing they talking and get serious, uh-huh. that's when you watch motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. She did a good job with that shit. You know, she a hell of an actress. But, but what she Comedy standing is on. hard. What's she standing on, though? Like, meaning, like, you know, you, okay, you're a celebrity, you're talented, you put in whatever work you put on, but when have you ever really stood up for the people? Like, what have you done to make me want to be like, you know what, yeah, fuck that, she Rally right. No, I'm on this. No, no, we can't you gotta, go out, you know. It, you got to be a part of something bigger yeah, than yourself, Yeah, but there's a thin bro. line between, like, we disagree with what's happening and then dogging her for no reason. And I say that because right. Monique has an entire special she shot in a women's prison to give back to the African-American women yeah, who were incarcerated. Exactly. Well, how come ain't nobody, that's why I said it. She did it on her own with her own dollar. But this is what I'm saying. What's the joke she said on that special? He don't know. She was like, I should be in here with you bitches. Yep, that was the name of it. That's the name of the whole special? That was the name of the special. I should be in here with you, bitch. I, I, should be, I could to be your cellmate. <laughs> oh, I could be your cellmate. That's good to point that out, though. She does give back to the community. But that that's a separate issue. The right. issue is don't shit on everybody that are that are that's your peer group. That part. Trying to make go. a point to yep. get people to rally behind you. Because then who gonna what rally? You should do you shit is on go people we fuck with. Close doors right. and speak to your peer group yep. and say this is my issue. Yeah, and that's what How I mean. How can we galvanize a movement? Mm-hmm. And, and because if you work with me and help me do this shit, it's gonna open the door for everybody. Right. right. Did it, did if she could have called everybody together, and made nigga flicks. But that ain't what like happened. You no, know oh. saying well, did that special come out after the whole? Oprah, Tyler Perry. Oh, this thing, is well before. Part. Everything right. I'm talking about so, for her so accomplishments are easily 10 to 15 year, years so old. Right. I'm not even going to bullshit you. So Everything I'm, ball, and I'm not saying other than precious, her tactics either. are she dated, man. Did go behind this. Let me like, tell you something, man. It's like trying to work. First of all, my bad. she went on Oprah's show. And I don't up. respect nothing Oprah the fuck is talking about. Uh-oh. Oh God! Here we Oprah, it's Chicago talking. I, I got a chill. Oprah did a motherfucking thing where she had to cast the. What's the name of that movie? I don't know, but I fuck with you, Oprah. But she didn't have, <laughs> she didn't have Mike Epps on the cast. What movie was what? it? Meaning like, no, she didn't have Mike Epps on the motherfucker. She wouldn't let Mike Epps on her show. Have you ever oh, noticed? Oh, she had the cast on and didn't, didn't let have him. Have you ever noticed Oprah wow. only fuck with soft poo butt ass niggas? What, po- what real motherfucker you ever seen around Oprah? Poo butt? What do you mean around her? Yeah. Obama? Obama a real nigga? Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. He's the only president that had a pack of Newports every day. Packing them things, doing real nigga Obama shit. Obama spent his time in the White House dodging questions about the motherfucking predicament his people is in in this country. Yeah, but now that he's done so with the presidency, he's fucking Obama. Everything he's doing is in Chicago now. I just really? watched him. What are you yeah, doing? He was, he was on Netflix with Letterman. He's got an entire thing in Chicago. They, 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 shit, right now, Chicago's on eight days without anybody dying right now. Okay. Well, <laughs> but I don't it, even know if that's true, but I'm just saying. Yeah, that's like what a... What is he doing? He with Letterman talking about what? No, they a, a bunch of stuff. It was just, a, you that's know... The, uh, he he hasn't done it. Yeah, on, no, on Netflix, mm-hmm. he has a new show yeah. called uh, My Next Guest, and Obama's the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so they talked, and they talked about a Damn realm man. of things. His like daughter, what? His, daughter's going, to, his daughter's going to college, his what initiatives in Chicago, Chicago. Yeah. what they doing. He does have a whole big initiative have for you Chicago. People, what you said? Yeah. What they doing? What did they say about what's going on in the motherfucking streets? Here's the thing, Obama. No, 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 no. Just because I'm weak on what he's doing, don't mean what he's doing isn't prevalent. I know when I'm coming from a place of ignorance to say I don't know because I haven't. That, that's not. I'm concerned about what the fuck the Seahawks gonna do, nigga. I'm sorry. But I'm just be honest with you, Obama. It, I saw that he has a presence in Chicago. He's now putting his energy back into the city, and he's that's a lot of power to have an ex president working on the city level. Nigga, David Letterman can book you. Right. You think? Do you think David Letterman can book George Bush? Obama yeah. gonna be hosting motherfucking Dancing with the Stars <laughs> in a couple of motherfucking years. Fuck no. Oh, he's man. not going to. He. Netflix going to offer him $500,000. I fuck with you, but God damn it, Obama is better than Dancing with the Stars. To eat some watermelon. He is not Carlton from Fresh <laughs> Pants. Right here. <laughs> he going to eat watermelon where? Simulator. Netflix going to give him $500,000 to eat a watermelon <laughs> sandwich. And hey, put it in uh, That's the whole thing. He's going to do it. <laughs> with Monique <laughs> rubbing his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they wouldn't give Obama $20 million. Netflix. Yeah, they would. You think they would? I Why? fuck with Obama. But they ain't got to. 
I think they would. Man, he's the most loved president in our lifetime. Obama went on a vacation with a gay man without his wife. Here we go. Oh. Rupert Murdoch. And y'all Murdoch. motherfuckers stand up and still yelling merch. Obama. When uh, every real nigga in the world can see, this nigga went where? He on vacation with that man. <laughs> no, nah, he didn't go with no regular ass Am man. Am I lying? Oh, he, he, went with, he went with one of the top. He went for the money, right? The rich nigga want to spoil him. He don't mean he got to let him in his ass. You're not supposed I'm to let no guy. other man spoil, spoil you, you nigga. Yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> you done drove off the road on that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, fuck that. Said the rich man wanted to spoil That's fucked up. If, if I get on, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm look out for all my boys. And I'm not trying to fuck these niggas. But I just want them to experience some better shit in life. Like, nigga, come fuck with me, nigga. Come, let, let's go experience some dope shit. Right. Rupert Murdoch is one of the richest humans that ever walked the planet. If he want to have an ex-president in the goddamn <laughs> middle of the fucking... Bermuda Triangle surfing and f- water tire. Let them do it, nigga. If they want a jet ski on the moon, nigga, let them go. It's that don't mean Obama <laughs> fucked them. It's Richard Brand. Corey don't even give right, a fuck. Richard He's like, Brand get excited, nigga. Well, this is good. <laughs> you make Bernie. excuses about why you go somewhere with a motherfucker who won't that ass. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just listening to you, nigga. I'm, I'm Listen. what you say. It's a, it's a funny ass sure. sentence, but Obama is not getting butt fucked, man. This is. God damn it. We got, I'm going to draw the line on where we respect the nigga. I fucks with him. Fuck the line. What happened with that gay NBA player? Him and his wife was chill eating, right? Who? Who? Uh, <laughs> which one? The one, who came out the, bag. the one who wasn't Collins. even shit. Uh, uh, Collins. Right. Right. Motherfucker wasn't even no star. <laughs> right, right. I'm gay. Good for you. Yeah. Oh, oh, what happened when Lord. the people was in Baltimore protesting about that bullshit? He told them y'all need to go to fuck home. Mm. Fuck Obama, man. <laughs> for real, nigga. Can't y'all see? Man, I what? fuck with Obama. That's one man. thing about that's one thing about my people. Yeah. Motherfucker knock you upside the head and you still love him. It's just like a dog. Right. You can hit the dog with the newspaper. He'll be like, well, I won't do that no more, boss. But he's still going to stay. Yeah. Mm. You feed him. He feed him. You fuck with Obama or you fuck with his politics? Because that's two different things. I fuck with Obama, but I'm telling you, if he's you off don't the, know Obama, nigga. if he's you off the national, politics. if he's off the national agenda of having to that's be the president shit. of every, of <laughs> having to be the really president of every, every citizen, and his first agenda that he gives his all to, instead of just hiding and doing vacations, is to go back the fuck real. into the inner cities of Chicago. I know he used to buy dope in Pasadena, so I fuck with that. Right, <laughs> the nigga smoke weed. <laughs> the nigga was the, he the only president uh, to lean against the White but, House with his foot up and 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 do this with a pack of Newports. Right, like come on. Oh, man, this nigga but was hooping and shit to relieve stress. He was, in, and now he don't got to worry about all Americans. He can get back into Chicago. He can get back, and from what I can tell, that's what he's doing, Corey. But as long you as a loyal put, fan, my nigga, be down. They got, look, y'all eight days clean. I'll take it. But that's where we at. Where niggas is happy because ain't nobody died. Niggas a nigga dying every day, thousands of them. So I mean, I don't want niggas to kill so each many other. Dying in Chicago, but look, I'm not taking no lives for granted. If Chicago got a day when nobody die after breaking that's a murder great. record, I'll yeah. take it. But let's build infrastructure, though. Okay, so ain't nobody dying now. But we'll, 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 let's talk about money, though. Call me a don't sheep. nobody want to talk me about me money. <laughs> <laughs> they call me a sheep, nigga. <laughs> Nate Collins. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Nate's an agent, man. Nate fuck y'all, man. <laughs> I fuck. Yeah. I like Obama, man. And it is what it is. Y'all can put your comments all you want, nigga. I fucks with Obama, and I think he. Just need some time to do what he's doing <laughs> in Chicago. You gotta let somebody actually get in there and work it because the shit been fucked up for a minute. It's not like some shit gonna that get nigga fixed was president in for three eight weekends. Years. And they never. Yeah, but he, could, he didn't have. That wasn't his agenda. What was his agenda? They so called the you entire Nate, country. They called you Nate Spears. <laughs> 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 hey, nigga, you better say some pro black shit before they, they said they... <laughs> his agenda was to run the entire country. Yeah. Uh, How can you be a black man and say fuck my blackness? We got to do for everybody. Right. Motherfucker, white motherfuckers be like, look, fuck them niggas. We finna they get just, our communities. They yeah. just did it All with the, the money. They, they did just it. did it with they the tax They did it. Yeah. They did it. The tax cuts said, fuck all, all broke guys. people. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. These tax cuts crazy. are for white. Well, listen, I can't just I like just, the president. Nigga, he was an incredible president for eight years, in my opinion. What's of course. course. What's different your in your opinion. life? And now I see him in Chicago. What's he's different? not in China. What's different? He's in Chicago. What's he went back to Chicago. The nigga went to the, the highest place in America to go, the highest office you can hold, the most powerful man in, in, in civilization, but, and now he's back in just Chicago. Who's the highest helping? man in that civilization? the president. It's such a Boy, powerful I'll show office. you some videos of motherfuckers talking to him like he a fucking boy. It's t- who? 
All kinds of money. Oh, the pre- yeah, but it's still the office of the presidency. It if was it wasn't powerful, we'd have already gotten rid of Trump. Video where Obama was trying to shake these motherfucker hands, they was looking at him like he wasn't shit. The uh, banking motherfucker. Yeah. I Obama, mean, when, when, yeah, but you are, if you, if you, if you really look at America, you know that money is power too. But Nate, the so fact where he that, is at? He ain't got no money like that. That's why he was in yeah. the ocean with the gay nigga getting that bread. Oh my God! Now he gay. Uh, I didn't say Obama was gay. I'm, I'm saying if gay. somebody gonna give you money, if they gonna if they gonna invest in your in in, in your interests, you gonna have to spend some time with him. That's he was at George give up Clooney the house, nigga. How <laughs> huh? oh. many real niggas been to George Clooney house? <laughs> oh wow, that's a get fucked and get this paper game uh, meeting and, and at look, George Clooney's. Re- yeah, really quickly. The fact of the matter is, thank you. So bring this back. You better not make me years, no goddamn jiggle boots. For eight years, say? black people did worse. Oh, God damn it. Under all. Obama. Right. Period. We did worse. <laughs> 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 what are we talking about? <laughs> we did but, worse. That's what I'm talking about. But we I did know. Worse. We did oh. worse economically. We lost ground under him. Because, again, you have a black man in a position that you just talked about, the highest office in the world. Yeah. Right? <laughs> however. No high office. However. That white bitch in Arizona that had was, her hand in his face that was like the, this. Listen, that was right. the first time in right. history you had a man that is the president of the United States yeah. that was worried about fucking stereotype threat. If I go off on somebody for disrespecting me as the president. Or my wife. Or my wife. Yeah. I get labeled the angry black man. Right. Mm-hmm. A white man such as Donald Trump can come in and be as free as he can because he's white. Mm. I could say I grab bitches by the pussy. Right. I could say Mexicans are rapists. I could say whatever. You the niggas fuck are from shithole countries. Yeah. Dumb. Hey, Barack Obama could. He did not have the freedom to be a free man in that office. Well, not and only black did, people lost under him. He did, that well, is now, now hold on. Not only fact. did he not have the freedom, I give you that. But as a president, as a Democratic president, he didn't have control of the House. He didn't have control of the Senate. As True the Republicans indeed. were in control. True. So True. throughout he the eight, was so for head, all eight huh? years, he yeah. bumping heads until yeah. his second term. The he didn't have that power. Hill, Billy in office now. Don't give a fuck who in control at matter. all. That nigga matter. tweets you, your mom a bitch <laughs> for real right now. <laughs> it's a stark contrast between Obama and him. But look at look at that stark contrast. We all hate Trump. Fuck Trump. But look why but you, you hate look Trump at him though. and then you look at Obama's care his his being his charisma and his Fuck the, the, the charisma. How is you it like that the nigga? <laughs> how is it that we can see the Corey truth? heard that like that's why you like <laughs> nigga charisma. But but Nate, Nate, how is it how is it that we can see the truth of Trump? Yeah. But we can't see the truth of Obama. That's what I'm saying. Obama is a figurehead, an image mm. that looks good mm. globally for black people. Mm-hmm. But when you get to the significance yeah. in terms of what you actually did for your people. In this country for eight years, man, you struggling to find Obama real substantive shit. Was Simba from the Lion King before he met the monkey? Well, the right. monkey You're gave him the game. Right. The mon- you forgot who you are. Right. I know right. who you are. Right. You're Mufasa's boy. <laughs> the <laughs> monkey gave him the game. The monkey gave him the game. <laughs> yeah. In the Lion yeah. King, the monkey was like. You don't know, you know who what? I couldn't have set this up are. any better, Corey. <laughs> Fuck your monkey and your jungle. Yeah. The monkey gave him the game. He you wasn't. watched the Lion King. Listen, that monkey led him to the back of that little lagoon uh-huh. where he saw his father. And showed him he was like, himself. You have forgotten me. He was. Obama, all of the people who died on them slave ships Rafiki. due to wreck it, I mean, due to the wretched behavior of Caucasian people, all the people that didn't even make it here to be a slave. Mm-hmm. They will say uh, out of the sky in front of Obama, you have forgotten us. Mm, we have man. been destroyed by oh, these people who yeah. ask you kissing. Better put. Mm. It's a pro- yeah. See, that's all. Yeah, real right. talk. And, and, and yeah. you know, it feel good just image wise. It just feels good sure. to have a black man in that position. But did he do more for black people than Jim Brown? No. That's why motherfuckers getting Jim Brown a pass with this shit he going through now. Yeah, he can beat the bitch up whenever he wants. What the fuck is you doing? I fuck with Jim. I go to driving range with him. But that's what I'm saying. Like, when you look at Jim Brown, there's some significant work. Did he do more for black people than MLK? No. I'm I'm, I'm asking you, did Obama do more for black people as president? 
MLK was a civil rights leader. Listen, I think this you guys, I think you guys are, no, no, you, you're highest. mishearing what I'm saying. I'm not saying Obama did a gang of shit as president for black people. Okay. What, well, I'm what, saying, is worth? what I'm saying is Nate Whitlock. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, Nate Barkley. What I'm saying is I, I like President Obama and I'm impressed that now that he's, uh, Ex president, he's putting his energy into Chicago and trying to clean that up. I'm with there that too. Go. That's what For I'm sure. getting at. I fuck with now. That. I'm not. Gonna, I can't. I can't go to the Lion King reference to the descendants of the clouds and the slaves and nigga. I'm too. I'm that woke to be like. All right, Corey. Touche, nigga. Okay. 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 But it's just like if he a, always goes there. If a, if, 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 if a real nigga, if a real like, you get mad because I talk about gay people. I mean, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't dislike people. anybody. Hey, y'all, all, all of this started with me saying Obama didn't take no dick from Rupert Murdoch. That's how all of this popped off. But he didn't go on on vacation with Rupert Murdoch. Who did he go with? Branson. Richard Branson. It it either matter. one but, of them. Thank you, but I'm just from saying Virgin. I don't get mad when you talk about Gabriel. I'm talking about him. <laughs> I don't think he is. You don't think who is? Obama. Okay, well that's good for okay, you. That's all I'm saying. But he he did Nate a lot Rodney of shit. King. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, it. Campaign for gay uh, people more than he campaigned Nate for Coon. black people. <laughs> These niggas is <laughs> going too <laughs> hard. Going so in. okay, so y'all in the chat calling me a coon. Y'all think Obama is gay? Yes. No, uh, let, I, don't, uh, boy, I don't think he's gay. I don't think he's gay. Why not? Exactly. Thanks. I really don't give a fuck if he's gay, but, uh, but I, don't I don't think, think he's he Okay, you a man you. and he you just... on vacation with oh. another man. That's I'm not doing it. Gay. I'm not there doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. What do you mean when you say not doing it? I'm not going on vacation with me and another man. I believe that, man. Right. Uh, yeah, it's not Corey, hey, argument. Why don't we just go to an island together? I don't think you are homosexual at all. But some niggas, just because they they look like men and they act like men, I be peeping <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> shit in their game where I be like, this nigga might not be all the way gay, but right. he'll let a nigga rub on him as long as they ain't kissing. The problem is you can't Why hold. can't he just go no, the problem visit? Is, the, why can't he just go visit uh nigga? No. The problem is we can't we should be able to hold him accountable for that. For going to see another person, you, for anything, you I do, think we, I think, figure. I think we wrong for assuming Thank that he had to fuck him or get fucked just to go. Yeah. I don't know what it is. That's a stretch, nigga. Yeah. But I would not go on a vacation. That ain't no, no. stretch, my nigga. We was, we, we stood outside the improv last night till the wee hours right. of the morning. But look, though. it'd be fucked up. Some other like, all the niggas oh, Obama. Oh, they were Let me tell you out. something. When I saw Obama, <laughs> the fuck? I don't give a fuck and who Corey get mad at Daniel suit. Fox. These and niggas is on me, boy. I don't we give a fuck who get mad at me. I heard that D. I'm gonna get you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw Obama, <laughs> yeah. in that garden with Jamie Fox, that's all I had to see. <laughs> now wait a minute. Now wait that's a minute. That's all I had to see. <laughs> <laughs> what garden? Oh, he, he, okay. Wait, what garden? Wait, Corey, what garden? You know where it's at? Maybe I saw more than. You saw what did you see? <laughs> no, I just it, 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 this is videos y'all can look up. Like Obama hit Corey as a young Chicago <laughs> youth. Quincy <laughs> <laughs> Jones, another homeless. Corey was like, hey! Hey! Let's please, can we move on? What did he hit you, Corey? Why are you so adamant about this? Shit? It's hey, the jumpsuit, man. I'm telling yeah, you, yeah. Corey was like, We can't have sex. Obama was like, Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, okay, Nate, let me tell you something. Yeah. If I see you on vacation with Miss oh, J, my God. I don't have to see what happened. Okay. I don't have to see with what Ms. happened. <laughs> I'm like, what that nigga doing with that nigga like that? <laughs> when I see niggas, I know niggas, I know niggas who try to hide who they are on the homosexual side of the game, but they always show. I seen this nigga, nobody ever uh. think he a fag. But he had this gay hairdresser, he flying around the world with him. What? I'm like, niggas don't do that. I'm, okay, niggas Listen. don't do that. If you ain't Corey. fucking niggas, you ain't got a flaming nigga up under you, nigga. Niggas Corey. don't Corey. do that. All I'm saying yes. is this. Uh. Yes, there's people That's doing true. suspect shit. But I'm not just going to assume Obama's right. gay because Thank he went you. on a goddamn trip. And he didn't go on a trip. Not when I see him as an example of black love where he has a black wife, two black, beautiful black kids, and a strong. He's a great example of black family. I'm not going to come in and undercut that and call him no fag because he just he may have been talking to that dude about his future plans and agenda in Chicago Thank and you. knowing it needs right. funding and he no longer has political backing. Right. And I don't know say jet ski for the world to see, nigga. <laughs> nigga have you ever been on a jet ski? That you act like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you like, wait, 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 wait. wait. No, because Corey out on a jet ski. Corey act nigga. like the niggas was on the same jet exactly, ski. Like you can't do that shit on the Corey jet ski. Corey act like Obama nigga. was holding on to the other nigga. Wait. Right. Ah, right. ah, no, nigga, they was on two different they jet skis. 
boat. Uh, Nate, right. if you see me jet skiing <laughs> with a moist motherfucker, yeah. then Man. you got you got the right to motherfucker to have reservations about who I am. Reservations and being this resolute about it is two Thank different things. You. Wow. Ah. I'm on I, you got me on the fence with the Jamie Foxx in the garden shit, but now I'm, I'm not but to be like he is Obama oh. again. Yes, Nate! All this is a He jacked me off in sixth grade. Obama like nigga, how do you why are you uh, so sure? Okay, let me ask you why you Thank think he campaigned for gay people more than he campaigned for black people? Oh, God damn it, Corey. You don't want to answer that? Nope. Okay, well, that's you know, that. You, but you know what? I like Why not? That. <laughs> that's that's, that's a heavy power. argument. You can't turn that down. Well, D, you would do shit I got, power. You just defended. Nate. him in his office in on, that Nate. position. I'm, that, you, no, 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 because it's the thing. You Nate, got, no, no, no. No, no, man. I'm going to answer Corey, and, and since I got to answer. Can I get Darlene? Because she's been sneaking him in. This is, let me just get her. Let me just get her. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, man. You next. All I want to say is this. All I want to say is this. I'm not finna take no platform where I'm defending gays and a bunch of other shit. All I'm saying is I like Obama, and I like what he's doing in Chicago, and I don't think he gay. That's Thanks. all I'm saying. Thanks. Don't turn me into Harvey Milk, nigga. I'm okay. just saying yeah. them that. Okay, I feel you. That nigga said Harvey Dude, Milk. <laughs> Jesus <upset> Christ. <laughs> about Nate Beckham Jr. God damn it, we were just friends. Nate Beckham. About comments you got too I made. Far. Yeah. About gay people. Why do you get upset about <laughs> comments about gay See people? See how you twist things? I didn't, I didn't twist say, things. No, let you, me, can, I, can I finish it? I didn't finish that. I want to see this. No, <laughs> what you just said is twisted. You made a blanket statement and said, "How I get it? why do you get upset, D, when I talk about gay people? That's not long. the proper mm. question. The proper question is, <laughs> I get upset when you get so adamant, when you're, you're so adamant that someone is gay. Your word, they're gay. And then we say, why? And then you give these silly answers. He was on vacation with a guy <laughs> that was kind of funny or who might be gay. That's what I'm saying. But I it's don't get silly on it to it's you. Been. What do you mean? It's silly I'm gonna to say me. It, I'm going to say it again. Because it's you don't, silly to because you. Because you don't 100% know. You're just assuming. Right. Okay. Because he's on vacation. Right. But we're, uh, what I'm saying is I don't get upset when you talk about gays. You can knock yourself out with that. No, you get upset. <laughs> no, That's and what's I up. And I notice it. No. You ain't never been about with a woman. Gay. No. And then you, then you always try to twist it and go because there with it. I'm just and saying people so get old. mad. No, it's when, almost like when, he wishes that. You should have like, been, oh you God, been with a couple women. No, okay, but let him time. tell it. Oh, no, but he always goes there with it. That's his That's that's his end game. You ain't never. No, D. You ain't never sucked on a little. <laughs> it's, like it's, it's like it's fantasy. What is what is sucked on a no 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 no? Whatever, but you always bring something up about what another you mean, woman. You mean, have you ever put your mouth on a woman's vagina? No, and I have told you this so many times, but I think it's some <laughs> sick fantasy of yours because you constantly bring it up. It's a well, look because I asked the question, it makes it where I'm bad. You say it's a sick no. fantasy. When you ask a question, umpteenth times. Now that's. Sick. Well, when you get mad you because got, I have an no, opinion. And first of all, nobody's getting mad. I'm going to let you finish talking. Go but ahead. But nobody gets mad. You turn it into that. You say mad. Nobody's getting mad. But no, you'll throw that word around so was. loosely. <laughs> okay. Like no, oh, you done? Liar. All right. <laughs> when I make an opinion about who I might think is gay, Trump? it gets on your nerve. And I mm. believe it get on your nerve because well, you, you get shit in the closet about that. Oh, I'm just brother. putting that out there. Now that is the most, there you go again. Now that's, 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 that's just ridiculous. Now they gonna slide the chair on you, man. No, no, because I don't care when something's not the truth or real. I don't care because he talks a lot like that out of his ass about gay stuff. Somebody care. said, what about Flame, Corey? Flame is the. Uh, no, and oh, Flame. that's a nigga that kiss you on the forehead. See? He, 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 he said what? He said he kissed you on the forehead. That nigga Flame kissed you on the forehead outside the improv. I seen it. That nigga Corey. Nigga Corey ain't never seen no motherfucking gay. nigga dressed like see? a bitch kiss me. Nigga Flame uh, bra was exposed and you tucked oh. it under the shirt. <laughs> and the nigga was nah, because then Corey was like, Corey, and then Flame was like, yeah, nigga, you see it. And then Corey was like, oh, that nigga got me again. <laughs> he cracking a joke. That's all. I don't kiss. I don't kiss niggas like. That. What happened with Flame, Corey? Because that some weird shit popped up, and I'm not saying you fucked this nigga or the nigga fucked you. God damn. I'm asking what happened that y'all not eye to eye. What do you mean, what me and Flame? Cool. Yeah, he's but y'all beefed at one point. Never no, did we never. beef. He told us a story about that, but he never <laughs> did. No, no, oh, I never beef with Flame. <laughs> the only thing Flame I don't one like. Flame the realest motherfuckers in the game. Flame lived with his woman and his bitch. The Look only thing that. that I don't like is everybody c can hold black people accountable for what they say we're not doing. But as soon as we point, like, well, what is gays doing? Or anybody else, it's a problem. 
Right. You know, everybody right. got it's something. A slur. They yeah. want you to stay in check, but like, I'm never gonna be in nah. check. Like, I'm gonna uh, talk about what I want to talk about right. on this motherfucking show. For sure. And right. whoever got a problem with it, I'm sorry. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. My feelings are hurt. I just, right. I just feel that nigga I, said, I, He said whoever that nigga said. My, my feelings. feelings. Yeah, because <laughs> no, because <laughs> my feelings, D feelings, we should be good because we no. know we know what you are. All I'm saying is, <laughs> exactly. my point is, I fucks oh. with Obama. I right. don't think he smashed that rich dude. Thank you. And, and I'm happy for the work he's doing in Chicago. Hey, Y'all can call nigga. me Nate Pointy A all you want, nigga. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and, I, and that's why I asked you when you said that, what is he doing in Chicago? Uh, and I said I didn't want to speak from a place of ignorance and make up a bunch of shit. Right. I can do some research and send it to you. Be like, you'd be like, oh, well, well, okay. That's, 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 but nigga, that's hey, you no, you're just going to be like, that gay nigga is doing some work in Chicago. You're and not going to come off of I'm it. Glad you said but that's that's what you're going to say. Nate sent me these facts about what this man is doing in Chicago. I'm Googling but, it. Uh, Frank, what the fuck? But to Corey, he'll be like, but he's still good. Yeah, he'll well, he be like, that guy nigga doing that work. Let's see what's okay. going on here. Just send him a jumpsuit and let's move on. But he doesn't know that the Zo, you don't know no facts about that? Facts on oh, what, what Obama's doing. doing? Obama's yeah. doing. Yeah. You, I look, you already know. resolved that he didn't do enough and fuck it. No, 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 no. I just know he, he has an initiative when he goes back to, or when he went back to Chicago. That he's gone. He met with all of the city leaders. Yes. He met with the mayor. He met with all the people there. The mayor. No. The mayor of Chicago was part of the cover up where that black boy got slaughtered by that white cop. The mayor of Chicago ain't no motherfucker you meet to help the people. But what I'm right. saying is, Obama <laughs> went back to Chicago and met with all of the principal leadership mm -hmm. to get Chicago. back in the money game. Right. To try to figure is out that what, what it is do for the community. To get back yeah. in the money game. Didn't they Martin Luther King do that? I mean, we be doing, we've been doing the same shit for like they the last... They ousted Martin Luther King because he was really trying to help black right. people. The problem with him is he was nonviolent. He didn't want to hit back. That was a problem. It, when a yeah. motherfucker throw a big-ass brick at you while you walking and you don't throw the brick back, you right. teaching the people wrong. You are. You are. That's it, the problem with Martin Luther King. We just and his champions. Sons we have just champions Steve Brown for not hitting the crazy nigga back. And saying, I said Get not your money. following him and keeping the shit going because he got attacked on stage while he was at work. Uh. You was at work. That man was at work. You right. don't need to be like fuck this shit. I'm finna get this nigga. The best way to handle most problems with a motherfucker who's trying to get violent with you is just to be calm and let the shit calm down right. and get the nigga when he walking in the house. Yeah, That's the real. best way to get any nigga. Just relax and when Just everybody relax. forget about it, roll out from that car scope bubble style. And don't yeah. tell people. Too many people <laughs> tell people what you're going to do. Right. Yeah. Do it. Telling people like, I'm going to get you. You just fucking gave him a reason to say why he got you. That's true. Yeah. Obama Foundation announces Lakeside Alliance as construction manager for Obama's presidential center. And you know, he's got a big library going up over there as well. You think that's his library? Yes, yeah, the Obama Library, but I think it's more than just an, a, a library, though. It's not right. just a library, but it's some kind of center where, you know, I think services will be provided. I know about that. I just ain't saying nothing because I don't know how much money he is put in that. But I know he is in it because of the money. They use his name to do that shit because he was named president. Yeah, of the you know United who money States. it probably is? So they hustling That his rich name. man that he was on vacation with. Yeah, That's yeah. probably it who had to buy the whole library. Because well, I don't think hustling. Obama got built a library money like that. It ain't nothing wrong with hustling. You just, you know, just be honest with the people. What, what you hustling? Don't act like you give a fuck about me. Because emotions validate fantasies. Motherfuckers get you emotional about some shit, and they tell you anything just to get you on their side. But they, really, what are you really trying to do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I try to, okay, this is the thing. And this, this is deeper than all that. I try to be a realist and see things exactly how a thing is and not fantasize about it, not look at a thing for what its potential is and just look at it for what it is. And to me, my perception is what it is. And you, we can disagree on what we see. Right. You might look at him through your life experience and say, that nigga's a fact. But, I'm looking at him going, uh, I think the nigga's a good dad and a good husband. But anything you see on TV right. is not and real, though. Power. You can't be a realist when you watch TV or do anything that you see in entertainment because it's not real. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all fabricated. You know what I'm saying? Shit that they use they to make bread. They want you to bread. see what they want you to see. So you can only so we deciphering through the we coming up with a, we deciphering through the bullshit. Yeah. Right. So no. if my Passionate. opinion on it is bullshit. That's because the information in the beginning was bullshit. You they know allow you to see what they want you to see. Right. That's all TV is. It's right. not a coincidence that everybody saw that boy get murdered in Minnesota by the cop. 
Castillo, Fernando yeah. Castillo. Mm-hmm. It's not. They wanted you to see that, right? Because if they didn't want you to see it, it wouldn't be on TV. Facebook. Because I ain't forgot when the motherfucking planes ran into the towers. 9-11, BET News was taken off, and they was playing CNN news. Right. But now they don't have to worry about that no more because they got the people in place where they ain't got to take BET News off because they got the faggot motherfuckers and the non-talking about the real shit motherfuckers in place. Ain't no more Teen Summit. Right. It's all faggotry and motherfucking uh, uh, <laughs> bullshit news. I ain't finna never be scared to speak my motherfucking mind because some motherfucker talk about what you can't say and they threw my people off the motherfucking boats on the way here because the boat was too full. I think we got too many. Yeah. Throw them on board. The sharks yeah. following so, the so, boat. So let me get For this, Corey. Real? Hold I'm, on. I'm supposed to be scared to say facts. This is a simple question. Who, no, I didn't oh, say. You, you're talking to someone else. I didn't say no, don't I'm say facts. I've I'm said shit three, four general. times my damn self. But I will say this. You say faggot? Faggot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what the fuck? That nigga say faggot. That nigga hit you with an E flat faggot. I'm going to say it. G-I-T. That's going to be the one snippet somebody yeah. get. Why you I can't run like for that, no that, president. That. They can be like, watch this clip of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you but what about the here. context of how yeah. I said it? <laughs> All I'm saying is this. If I think those three things <laughs> are facts, if I think I like Obama as a person, I think he's a good father, and I like what he's doing in Chicago now, that does not mean I'm turning my back on the, Afri- the Africans that were on their way to become African Americans or stopping the Caribbean that were lost on their way here. I, don't think I that understand at all, that the, the floor of the ocean is is coated in our bones along that trail. Don't misunderstand I'm not me. saying fuck my heritage that. and my people just by saying I like Obama. I just hope you heard me when I said I don't think that because I really don't and I wouldn't just say it. I don't think that's what you're saying. I think what it is. Look at your chat. You miss him. <laughs> that, that's what they think that you said. <laughs> Nate, no. Nate plays double dutch with trans niggas. This, <laughs> this is what. And you tell me all these niggas is in wheelchairs? <laughs> nigga, don't take that personal, nigga. That's they said E flat faggot. Yeah. <laughs> e flat. <laughs> that nigga mad as a motherfucker. I'm mad as a motherfucker. That nigga just called me. That nigga just called me uh, Reverend Nate Wright. <laughs> 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 nigga, if you don't leave that shit alone. Hey, they, they don't do dur- during the break like the gooey raccoon did. Yeah. What do you do? Be like, Corey, why they don't like me? Man, yeah. I, no, no, no. Here, here's what I do know, right? Like, if I'm gonna come on, if I'm gonna come on the show as a guest, you see that say Nate, you got us wrong, dog. They go in. They go. No, 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 no. That's why I say, I'm no. Area, listen, gooey, the gooey raccoon is a different type of nigga. That's why Zoe had to hit him. Uh, not at all. But that's why they fought. <laughs> they had a disagreement, and Zoe was like, the only way to fix it. This is, this is, listen, but Zoe is extremely that, intelligent. That for, for him to resort nigga. to throwing bows in the air and flailing a lot like he's swimming yeah. is, a, is a really aggressive decision. That nigga airballed a combination, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> But no, no. But I'm not getting that twisted. What the comments say? Simply fan in that nigga. Hey, hey, but (laughs) but (laughs) Zoe did to him what we should be able to do to any other man, and that's hold him accountable. (laughs) How about that? Which which is that's what this conversation is about. Right. What it's about is Corey going at your and shit. No, what Corey's saying is he saw something that needs to be held accountable, and I'm saying, well, I haven't seen something that needs to be held accountable yet. No, I mean, that don't make me soft. That don't make me no coon. That don't make me no jiggable. That don't man, mean I'm a goddamn agent for the crackers. I'm saying what I'm saying because I'm looking yeah, at what I've we, seen with Obama and his family and how he's raising and be a good uh, example for African American. I'm like, I like this nigga. But all they asking said Nate ain't clear minded. <laughs> I'm drunk, but I'm still goddamn it. I'm connecting my words. <laughs> but, uh, but you what? bitches. But look, Nate. Nate, hold on. Let me say this. We got our two light skinned niggas sitting apart from each other because <laughs> Zoe was like, hey, what's up with this light skinned nigga? I don't care about you bringing dog niggas on. No. Right, hey, don't Zoe, be no Zoe, been, Zoe been missing like a mother. You put one light skinned nigga on and he pulled back up. Excuse me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All day long. Yeah, but he didn't sit in this chair, though. Yeah, the road. <laughs> you didn't sit over there and he sat right there. He was like, excuse me, nigga, this is my mother. Hey, they from please. the rough streets of Pasadena, nigga. <laughs> I don't want no beef, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> 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 hey. Right so, if I'm you would have just lived that nigga one time, so all the Pasadena would have lifted you up. Dude, they had a whole nother parade. They turned up. <laughs> this they nigga Miss Aries turned up over there. <laughs> I'm hot, nigga. This shit is serious. I shouldn't have did this. I should have just, I should have just ate my M and M's and came in here yeah. like a regular bitch. Like hey. the gooey hey, raccoon. Yo, <laughs> that nigga vocal tone on Pavarotti like a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had the back of his face. That nigga got... TD Nates. No TD Nates. We have gone. Listen, listen. He sounded like Clipper Dave at the game when he be yelling. I'm going to change my register and bring it back down. So check it out. We have gone a long time without a segment that normally has shit. Our segment, D segment, is about 30 minutes late right now. Uh, So let's get in this segment. It's a segment that is a tradition Mm. on the 5150 show. (laughs) It is called D's Loose Talk talk about About. Bullshit. Uh-oh. See? <laughs> they on you, Nate. <laughs> yeah, they're Bull, chill there. out. Nate about to have an aneurysm. In. <laughs> <laughs> you going to have to beat up a KKK nigga on Thank camera you. to get the... Uh, That's the only way to get my black card back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't lose it. Well, we covered a couple of them, so I'm going to skip mm. all that. Uh, but but <laughs> the last thing about Netflix, speaking of Netflix, comedy specials, I saw Cat Williams' latest called Great America. No word on what he got paid. I'm just making a little joke about it. But I loved it. I don't okay. know if you guys had a chance to check it out. I peeped it there up. There it is. That's what he wore. It was hilarious. I just only wish that his production team or whatever would have had one of them little Beyonce fans in the front where he could have clicked it on whenever he wanted that. <laughs> Full was sweating like I have right. never seen anybody. It was great, though. I, I laughed like crazy. I know they probably paid that nigga. I know they paid that it nigga. Was, it was well, great. Yeah, but he's I a legend. It. That's what Corey was saying. But it ain't even a... It ain't, he he got a connection with his fan base. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers love Cat Bro, that goes I back to exactly I what I said. Taylor. When you when your career reaches a point of turmoil, the only way the only way to salvage is to take your ass back out to the people who put you where you were in the first and place. That's why you know. when Chris Brown got in trouble, the nigga was back on the road. Kevin Hart got in trouble, back on the goddamn but, road. Right. R. Kelly got in trouble, back in the goddamn but studio. This nigga like, talks to the people. Like the only time Monique talked to us is when when she's trying to get something. You know what I'm saying? That's, this nigga. That's real shit. What you saying? Yeah, he talked to the people. He, I mean, he just spoke on the Illuminati shit. You know what I'm saying? He speaks on a lot of shit. Cat Williams is a nigga that people respect. I'm yeah, not saying we don't. He went back home, right? Yeah. He went back home. That was his hometown, and yeah. he made fun of himself. Most of the show, he's making fun of a lot of his rest and things like that, and his drug stuff. So. You saw it? Yeah. I Did he say something again. about that fight he had with that young nigga? No. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> he probably could. He, no, he, he no, 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 he, 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 did. he did. I saw. I saw. He, he went. Right. He went massively viral on Facebook talking about the little boy. He was like, I didn't know the nigga was a little boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he went yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. When I figured it out, I was in the headlock already. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's funny. <laughs> no, I, I got to see it again. That yeah, nigga's ah. good. Dude. Anyway, uh, but okay, the nigga, so yeah. I don't know if you guys heard about this guy, Sean Donis. This is the man that Stupid. caught his wife. This was a, uh, two, tw- uh, 2016 when it actually happened. Well, he caught his wife cheating with her boss after he unknowingly used the Find My iPhone app to oh. locate their five-year-old son's iPad after she asked the husband to watch him. Um, when he was looking for the iPad, he noticed that the iPad was moving, and it was moving towards New York City. So he got in his car, and he followed it. Um, anyway, what happened was he saw her car in front of a house, a strange house, looking around it, whatever, went in. This is a couple years ago. So now he's on trial because he is facing up to 15 years uh, for um, if found guilty. Um, what Did happened? He kill a bitch? No, but what happened was he oh, went he in the house. Up. No, no, no. Listen, no, he, mm. that is probably going to save him from serving so much time because that's his defense. But what happened was he opened the door. It happened to be unlocked, and he videotaped a couple little snippets of him busting her with her boss, sleeping with her boss, and um, a couple of little uh, tidbits of her naked or getting off the guy or whatever. Anyway, so he he kept his cool because his lawyer's using that. Look, he in that kind of situation. He didn't do anything to the man. He left, and then he, but he did send the video to her family, to her relatives. He sent the video. Oh, that was a whole move. He that was not that. cool. You think that was a whole yeah. move? <laughs> he should have just got on up, got on, man. Fuck but her. he left. He did. But he leave. got a baby with the bitch. Yeah, but and what? he didn't. He didn't do anything to the guy. He didn't do anything to the boss. But um, but he did threaten them both uh for distribution of the video, which he didn't do to the guy. He just sent it to her relatives, which was pretty messed up. Yeah. But the guy, her boss, claims that he's the victim because she had told him that she was separated from the husband and now the boss claims that he can't sleep after the husband had did that um the husband's lawyer is saying that his client deserves a medal for restraint on how he kept his cool anyway Gee, um, what is he getting 15 years for that's right what, it that's is for hold on showing the video he ain't gonna get 15 years hell no you're gonna get two well months. they're they're waiting right now because it's on trial right now and the the uh you don't know what he's getting 15 years? Hold on, years? the sentencing can show up any. Where are your glasses? Day I was about to say, Remember, where's I your glasses? You, I told you, hold on. You need your glasses. It's big enough, I'm focusing. 
<laughs> yeah, How big is it, Greg? Look like you're sewing. <laughs> <laughs> Called unlawful unlawful surveillance. Oh. A felony a felony burglary so like and a felony burglary and unlawful surveillance. So he That's stole a, something too then. How was that? Yeah, uh, he stole nothing. That, that, no, 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 he that, videoed breaking and felony entering. burglary. He must have took something. Well, breaking no, and he entering. Opened, he the door was the unlocked. House, right, it don't matter. Let me tell y'all what's happening. The dude who house he went in must be white. And got paid. No, he's just so they piled some charges because <laughs> white people no, he's can huddle alone. with the cops. This is yeah. what they do. White yeah. people get together with the cops. Can I speak to you? So what can we get him on? Right. For a moment. So what do we have a problem? Right. We can come up with this charge, and then he just got to beat it in court. Right. Because the charge the police <laughs> give you is the charge that they basically like, fight this, nigga. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, they are now divorced, so. Officer McNamara. He should have just. <laughs> I think. I, I, I would like everybody's opinion on what they feel about him sending the video to the family. That was a whole, like a whole ass like move. He should have just. Why left. is it a whole move? Because now you on her level. You got uh, being a and man is a responsibility. Like that's not the same man. level. Being a man is a responsibility. You don't do what they do. What do you and think about that? Day? And you had children oh. together. I'm is, saying is that and at some point, because at yeah. some they point, have kids together. Sure. What yes. do you think about that, Nate? You want to comment on it? The kids together changes my whole shit. That's what I'm saying. See, and then at some point they're gonna grow. Because it's not a clean, it's not a story. clean tie. Like those are still the kids' relatives and whatnot. What do you think about that? Yeah, definitely don't send the video. Yeah, that's okay. a whole move. Let me tell you something. If I, I I can't I probably wouldn't follow a bitch. I'm just keeping it real. But if I had on video the bitch who supposed to be with me, <laughs> fucking her boss, I am not above putting that video in the game. That's why I'm saying he's better than me. I'm not above it. What, I, 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 no. I, I, What's the game? I would love for her mother to see this bitch ain't shit. And they Meanwhile, they most say nothing to me because my daughter's mother. Mother smiled with me like she was my friend till shit went wrong. She act like I did her daughter wrong. Right. Bitch, I want you to see this bitch ain't shit. That part. Right. And that's why my first opinion of it was, I don't know the relationship between him and the family. They may have been dogging this dude the I whole time. I want my time. child to see right. this bitch And he's like, shit. this is this is what y'all are saying I'm not I'm not worthy of? Yeah, okay. I can feel But with the out. kids, it's like they still going to be in the kids' lives and there's still aunties, uncles. Well, and it's so, son, I'm you remember that? You saw that shit. Let me Google your mama over that nigga house. Oh. <laughs> but I tell you what, though. He <laughs> should be let off. <laughs> over that nigga house. He should be that let off. still on the internet. <laughs> right. That's, that's a movie up. like a motherfucker. Yeah. He, right. he should that's be let off uh. of almost all the charges, not all of them, for what he could have done. Google your mama. And did you not do. Claim, you can claim insanity when you white easily they'll right. be like well this guy was traumatized oh, that's by an act of passion right. you got a certain amount of time shit. to act a fool right so we'll see what he gets any day now the i hope he beat be- it i know some niggas that would have just drove the car through the whole house when they saw it yeah. oh i know niggas who would have motherfucker whooped both of their ass what right. he should have did was say thought somebody stole the laptop <laughs> he was going to get his property you know what i'm saying he can come up with yeah, that that's yeah, clever I Craig. Like that. but see i don't be quick to fight dudes if i walk up on a dude fucking my girl i'm not quick to fight no dude too, and they're naked i'll be like oh bitch you ain't shit well if it's in my house i ain't gonna even lie i tell dude look man get the fuck out of my house man see, now if he put up house. resistance from getting out my house now we got a problem might not up. make it out the house yeah, right yeah. That's but my, my dad said, if you catch your woman cheating on you, just get some coffee and come back and sit down yeah. in the living room. I don't like care. And sort all that shit out later. Because your bitch is trifling, and don't you don't need that. to be in crime forever well, for shooting you somebody. What? Say that again. My dad said, if you catch your woman cheating on you, just go get you some coffee and come sit down in the living room and sort your shit out with your, your woman later. The right. last thing you want to do is act on all passion and all your energy, and yeah. you go in there and you kill them both, and now you're in jail forever. Look, I'm going to tell you, I don't over care. Over a funky ass yes. bitch. I don't wish care you had just if 10 you, more minutes of clarity, you wouldn't I, have did all that shit. I don't care if you fuck my girl, just do it at your house, nigga. Not in your bed, right. Yeah. You care. care if I fuck your girl, well, nigga. Well, 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 how's that going to stop it? I'm just saying, you care, Somewhere nigga. Else, right. Especially if, if it's me. Nah. He got oh, kids, Craig. 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 They're a family, Craig. This ain't no side bitch that just got fucked. This is his. Give a fuck. Fuck. This, this is his mother, mother of his kids. Believed in. Yeah. That's what's embarrassed because you but entrusted him. He followed her, her, nigga. His heart made him do that. He didn't want to do all the real nigga. And him was like, just go back. His heart was like, you got to see it with so your own eyes. So you would, I mean, what, 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 how can I say this, man? Careful. I want you to say just it. say it. Right? Yeah. Mm-mm. I'm the type of nigga where once my girl leaves me, I know she her own woman, man, and I'm not trying to stop her from doing nothing she don't want to do. So if at that time she feel like she want to go fuck somebody else, I'm not giving her permission, but I'm accepting that she's a human, 
And I'm accepting that I'm probably fucking a few other broads. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the same thing. I'm accountable. Thing. I don't give a fuck how many bitches I'm fucking. If you are the one yes. that I chose and put out there and you fuck somebody else, bitch, that changes Everything, but that's only what you know about, though. That's it's what I'm blasphemous saying. for you to be around me after that. <laughs> I'm it, gonna get you, bitch. I'm gonna destroy you. And it don't go you the same lead with the woman with a straight jacket. And in Corey's eyes, it don't go the same with it the don't woman. Don't go the same. See? For real, See? I'm the yeah. motherfucking man. See? So let me he ask you, what, what, what's 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 bit, what's more important on the scale, yo, chick, fucking another nigga or stealing money from you? Loyalty. Okay, loyalty is number one over love. That that go for the money, the the, the dick and pussy shit, everything. That's why I answered it because it ain't no it, loyalty, bitch. Okay. If you if I fuck with first of all, if I fuck with you, bitch, that means Jeez, you ain't gonna be out here like these other bitches. I'm motherfucking go. I'm the I'm different, bitch. I ain't no regular nigga. Right, right. So if you up under me, you ain't got no business fucking up. And if you fuck up, watch me after that. Cause it's vindictive time. I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back this what you done know, did to man. me, goddamn. I, I might not even get you back, but I'm going to tell you. If you fuck with me after you the motherfucker made me look stupid out here, you a stupid motherfucker to fuck with me after that. Because <laughs> some shit has changed. Oh, no, for sure. <laughs> for sure. There has you been a shift in how can you? How can you as a man? <laughs> how about that, Zo? <laughs> how, first of all, I, the only thing he's guilty of is getting proof of it. Some niggas just need to see it. He he got proof. No, he and, guilty of a few other things. And then he said it. So you said guilty of what? Us. Hey, operating in emotion. He didn't operate no, in emotion. I, he, yeah, kept he, well, he kept it together. He kept it together. He didn't touch enough. nobody. He didn't even hurt the boss. That's, That's the first person most niggas is fucking so, up. But if I see the boss and the boss a big swole motherfucker, I'm going to be like, oh, nigga, you were scared to engage. Well, that's actually one of the things that they have. One <laughs> oh, of the things no. that they his lawyer has to work with Leave is a us. screenshot because the, the, law, the uh, boss was trying to claim, oh, I can't sleep now i'm so apparent you know that this guy did this to us right however they You're got supposed a, to be paranoid they got a screenshot of homie that's all it takes is one little thing to yeah. just doubt that guy's he, he they got a screenshot of his on facebook telling the husband bring it bro bring it bro like he's not afraid so the boss he wasn't yeah. around the yeah. boss was doing it somebody yeah. took a screenshot See, that's what i'm well, saying you if you homie. check their text it'll show he knew about the motherfucking husband mm -hmm. all Man, you do is check their text if if, if my wife boss Smash my wife, and I see it with my own eyes. And then he's on Facebook talking about some bring it, bro. Yeah, it's nigga, <laughs> oh, it's already <laughs> been <laughs> rotten. <laughs> nigga. Are you kidding me? I, I Can I tell y'all something? I'm going in the night. <laughs> uh, Craig, D, Seal Team yeah. Six, nigga. Uh, Zoe, Nate, I want to tell y'all something. Yeah. This happened today. It's something happened in my life that changed everything with my relationship <laughs> with my son, mother. Oh, no, today, my son had an incident with this dude that he got beef with. You know, suburban people don't understand beef. Right. right. My son is in danger. This nigga that he is at it with, these motherfuckers be at each other. They serious. So my son mama called me talking about, um, you need to come get him because he got into it again and woo, 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 and the nigga threw a brick through my window and one of my kids could have got hurt. So I'm like, hold up, let me call my son. I call my son. I'm like, nigga, you, you, this is real shit. Yeah. You got to tell me what's up. He told me the nigga followed me home from the bus. I told the nigga I don't want to fight him, but the nigga followed me home. But they've been at it, so it's right. a beef. Right. I said, so you didn't, you didn't go to this nigga house or nothing like that. He's like, no, I ain't never been to that nigga house. I said, so the nigga did what? He said, when I walked in the house, he went and looked for his stepfather. Uh -huh. The nigga threw a brick <gasps> through the window. So I was like, that's serious. That nigga, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's serious. serious. So that's a motherfucker him. with a problem. He followed him right, off the bus right. and stalked him, right. So now he know where he stay, too. I, I was like, well, he been to where he stay because they used to be cool. That's oh, the worst. He, they used to be cool. Man, man I can't stand these bitches. So look, niggas, check this man. shit out. This, this was the life changing shit. I ain't never got into it with my the son stepfather. Well, I, well, stepfather, nigga. First of all, I say this on motherfucking the motherfucking air. The stepfather ain't running shit over there. Old girl runs shit. 
That's the problem with their motherfucking house. Yeah, you gotta man up. Cause none if he Cause if, he, if a nigga threw a brick through a window where I live, nigga, problem. we got to deal with that's, this. That's a situation. Fast. Hell yeah, that's enough a problem. to throw a brick situation. through my window. Damn. So look, I get on the phone with her, cause I know you don't even know. This shit can boil over with somebody get that's killed. Quick. Right. Quick. Right. 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 And people take that little shit for granted, not knowing. That's, that's how it escalates. Man, I got on the phone with her. I'm trying to talk to her, but she defensive. Fuck. To the point where she talking like to me, like, no, 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 wait. Woo, woo. I'm like, hold on. Watch how the fuck is you talking to me? She hung up the phone. Mm. Right. It changed everything. Because, bitch, you hung up the phone on me in front of my son? So now if I ever see the bitch again, because I don't, I don't fuck with motherfuckers who feel like they can disrespect me. Yeah, because that's Cause a masculine. I know, how, I know how quick it go. Yeah. I got to go to Chicago and deal with this shit because I know she a dumbass suburban motherfucker who don't understand what beef is yeah. and the nigga she live with too soft to motherfucking handle the motherfucking shit like it's supposed to be handled. Right. If somebody bold enough to throw a brick through your motherfucking window, you Hell must be shit. at them. Do you know how, blank. listen, a brick, you got to find a brick, cock back, throw this heavy motherfucker, hit your target. It is so much easier to just pull the trigger. And Corey, you got to get a hold of that. The reason I brought that story up is because I'm just saying, it's so many hand-packed motherfucking niggas mm. living with bitches where they scared to address the bitch like they supposed to. That's because that. they know yeah. it's going to result in drama. Yeah. Meaning like, oh girl, Hung up the phone on me because I was stopping her from talking to me like that. We ain't instead never talked to each other like that. Right. What the hell right. Going on with your, right. So what I'm trying to say is, man, all of the shit that you don't handle right away, it come back on you. Now, mm. all these years of me allowing my son to be in a house where a bitch run it, it's come back on me. Because I got to go to Chicago and handle this motherfucker shit. Right. I ain't finna let no motherfucker do shit to my motherfucking son. You see what I'm saying? Straight up. You don't beat nothing. Everything you let get away is going to come back on you. And I want to say this shit because I want it to be known to the nigga who live there. Man, I don't know what the fuck you doing. <laughs> any nigga, th any, I don't give a fuck if it's a child or a motherfucker. If I feel like somebody threw a brick in my window on some motherfucking right. bullshit. Oh, yeah. That's your house. I can't even sleep. No. Fuck no. I'll be like, where this nigga at? We got to find this nigga. Yeah. This nigga bold enough to throw a brick in my hey, window. Is he your son's same age? Cause so he's underage. He's I don't kid. know if he my son's age. I just know my son had beef with some motherfucker. I got beef with some See, nigga. If he was a teenager, nigga followed him home and threw a fucking brick. It, 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 it'll be dealt with. Not it, it, because it, he there's a, a, pro, the there's a protocol if he's underage, but at the same time. My son's 16. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but if, if the other kid is under 18. I don't give a fuck what age he at. You got to handle that it. That motherfucker needs to be dealt with like a man. Because he's throwing bricks like a man. You don't throw no brick in no motherfucker window and then I don't give a fuck what the police do. The police, if the police ain't going, look, we need to punch this dude up and motherfucking go find him and handle this shit like it's a real problem. Because I'm telling you, people who bold enough to do that are people who bold enough to do other things. Oh, Way yeah. more shit. Wow. Yeah. yeah. There's boundaries. That's a sure. line right there. Yeah. Definitely yeah. cross. The part, the part that's frustrating but everybody's me. scared to burn bridges with their woman. Like, like we was talking that about. That part. That Monique shit. I, I ain't trying to diss. I'm just saying, like, my nigga who in charge of that situation, you know, she said her husband is her manager. I respect that. And she said white people ain't got... The, 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 my, the white people who represented me, they trying to sue me, and they can't. They stole from me, but trying to act like I stole from them. Mm -hmm. Chris Smith from motherfucking ICM agency. Bitch-ass white boy with the plastic surgery face. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> All that bullshit you sent to my crib, motherfucker, you, let me tell you something. This motherfucker trying to go through the labor board to try to get some money up out of me. Mm. Not sue me flat out because he can't. In fact, I can sue him because I have proof money that came into ICM agency in my name that he didn't tell me about. Mm. But he thought I didn't know. Mm. But I'm out here in the streets with these promoters. And them motherfuckers be like, I'll show you my paperwork. Well, right. I sent this on the deposit for you, and Chris Smith took it. Ooh, he could lose his job. If I lied about this right now, I could get sued. All right. Yeah. Mm. But bitch-ass Chris Smith, I hope this come back to you. I got you, white boy. I got you, ugly-ass white boy. <laughs> uh -uh. I've been driving on the hill and seeing you come out your house with your little family. I ain't <laughs> fucking with you. You won't throw a brick. 
Uh, I'm just letting you know, motherfucker. <laughs> the world's small. I know where you at. Right. White yeah. boy. So I'm just putting it out Don't there, make man. him pull out that white card. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. I love calling them white boy in their face. There's they be, a nigger oh, in mm-hmm. pursuit of me. Right. I ain't in pursuit of the white boy, but I'm just saying, motherfucker, that thirsty shit you doing. Uh, I'll repeat is. for you. You are not in pursuit of the white boy, but, but you're but, saying what happened. But I'm just saying. You got to take challenges in life head on when you feel like it's danger instead of just putting your head in the sand like an ostrich. Right. Right. Because that goes with a nigga throwing a brick in the window. That goes with your woman when she get out of pocket where you can't talk. You get overwhelmed where you don't want to motherfucking argue and shit. I'm going to always argue. Bitch, we ain't going to never be happy around this motherfucker. (laughs) We going to always fight if you coming at me like that. Whoever the fuck you are. Any bitch, if, if I feel like it's gotten to the point where the bitch is like, oh, this bitch is trying to talk to me like I ain't shit. And right. I done let shit go before. Right. Yeah. I ain't quick-tempered while I fly off, but I be like, hold on, bitch. You can't <laughs> talk to me like that. And most of the time when I talk to women, if you don't bow down to they shit, and mm-hmm. I'm not saying all women, but I'm saying a lot of women. <laughs> if you don't bow down to they shit, they'll say, fuck you. And stomp off, rump <laughs> off. And I believe that's why dude ain't said nothing to Monique. I believe that's why dude at my baby mama house ain't motherfucking out in the streets looking for this nigga who motherfucking Mm. uh, threw a brick through the window where him and his kids at. Mm. Now, I'm going to say that I agree with you. And and what I'm questioning is origin, right? So I I think of like, well, what would make the situation as such? Why is everybody so fucking henpecked? Does it go... Like, to me, when you were talking about it and the way she acted and all that emasculating shit she did to you make me feel like it's directly related to like something as deep as a Willie Lynch letter. It's probably power. She's probably, she's running the house. She probably makes the most income. I'm not, I'm not condoning her behavior with him, but I'm just saying in that kind of situation, same thing with Moni. If the guy's her manager, I'm pretty sure she makes This is what I think. Money. I think that We are programmed to not talk to white people like that, but when we get into it with black people, it's 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 like I don't have to respect you because there's no repercussions for me doing whatever the fuck I do to you. Mm. Cause I know bitches who tough as hell at home and talk shit to everybody, but when they at work around white people, they are in check. Right. And I'm talking about I say women because mostly (laughs) right. (laughs) Right, mostly brought some macaroni right. and cheese up here for it's everyone. It's mostly black women working Good around morning. white people. <laughs> yeah, most this of is, the white to me, this all sounds like Willie Lynch. This is very slave mentality shit. <laughs> for her not to let you, as the father of your son, speak your mind, is nuts to me. She doesn't have to agree, but get to to let it. let his father get that reaction off because she treat that nigga at home like that. That shit is let me know everything was wrong with your career. That's why to me. You should have been talking about my son and what the fuck he might have done, bitch. You run that nigga. And now mm. you think you run me. Right, you right. You would never run me, bitch. Uh-oh. And, and the... no bitch will ever run me. No bitch. <laughs> no bitch will ever run me. I die alone. And the cold oh, thing... I let a bitch run me and tell me, talk talk over me like I'm the boy and I'm going to put my tail between oh, no. my lips. Bitch, if you don't shut the fuck up talking to me like that. Well, and I, I think part of the problem is when those situations occur, the mother may be calling you or me, or whoever is in that kind of situation, they're there calling you so you could give them the result they're looking for. Right. Yeah, they want to be backed up. They're not calling you to work that result out together. Mm -hmm. Right. They're calling you to do something. You better get them. Right. Right. As opposed to saying, hey, let's sit down and strategize what we need to do regarding this situation concerning our son. Which is all fine and good if she got the same mentality and see the streets the same way Corey does. Should but not. Corey even, knows even if she a brick through the house is so disrespectful right. a bullet is easier to send at somebody. But wait, That's even, why he's saying I got to get out there for my son's own well-being. Right. But Nate, even if she doesn't understand that, she understands him. Right. She, she know who the fuck that. he is. That's why she should be calling him. This is a street situation. Right. No, she called Let me, me call the because this is what women do. Mm-hmm. A lot of women do. <laughs> there you go. You think this is the first time this happened to me? Huh. My daughter, the first time she raised up on her mama. Mm. I don't fuck with my daughter mama. 
All of a sudden, I get a call. I didn't even know this bitch had my number. No, I got a call. This years ago. You need to come get your daughter. Uh-oh. She woo, 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 woo. I was like, bitch, why is you calling me? That's the first thing I said. Because this bitch is beyond disrespectful. Right. She ain't got no respect for nothing, nobody. It must have right. really been bad because I'm like, surprised bitch, she reached out. I don't give a fuck what's going on over there. Mm. Don't you ever call me, bitch. Mm. And I ain't heard from the bitch since. So, huh. again, right. there's my point. I said, I don't give a fuck if my daughter dead, bitch. I don't want to hear from you. <laughs> wow. wow. Let me, but there's my point uh, right. again. Let me hear from somebody Don't, else, not and, your and, ass. And, and I understand it's, it's difficult being a single mother. I understand it's difficult, you know, raising a kid on your on your own, quote unquote. But at the end of the day, when you reach a wall, the, the fucking request shouldn't be come get them. Right. That's to you understand. That's I threw my hands up. I quit. You didn't let the shit them bubble over. The now, now I'm coming in. It's already bullshit. yeah. It's already a you mess. You gonna call me in there? Situations where the result <clears throat> is the same thing. Come get him. Come get her. Nigga, no, if you don't live, go quitting. If you right. live nah, with a bitch, no, you know every goddamn thing else. <laughs> Let's come figure this one out. Right, you know but everything. Every else but hold on, cool. <laughs> if your bitch run the house, you are adding to the destruction of the world. Real talk. What? Yeah, I feel like this is how I feel. What disturbed me the most in the story is the you getting hung up on shit in front of my son. That's you what I'm like. Why would you emasculate the father of your child? The because you that's how she treat. <laughs> that's you. how she treat that nigga at home. That's and she forgot. That's ridiculous. She forgot. I'm not him. Right. Mm. <laughs> did I'm she, not did she him. Call back and when I, like, uh, no, the bitch ain't called back yet. But see, I don't even talk like this about or to her no, you don't. Yeah, on I know. purpose. We but know. once you go there with me, shit has bitch, changed. you in the game now. Mm. You out here with the rest of these motherfuckers. <laughs> you hanging up on me? Mm. I ain't even do nothing for you to hang up on me. Right. I just tried to check you from talking like you talking to me. And acting, but, like, and acting like the shit is not sincere, like it could be serious. But that's what it is. Uh, these motherfuckers... Man, these motherfuckers, man, these, I'm telling you, man, I don't give a fuck. Motherfuckers say I'm a chauvinist or whatever. Too many women think that because there's no repercussions to what they do or what they say to the nigga that done put dick in them. Mm. They think there's no repercussions to that, so they just do it. That's why the world coming to the end. In the Bible, it show, all you Christian motherfuckers, the Bible show what happened when you let bitches run loose. What did mm. the Bible say, please? When <laughs> bitches run loose. Right, right. Look at all the destructive shit that <laughs> What happened. book was it in? <laughs> Look at all the shit that happened in the Bible. Let's talk about every bitch story in the Bible. Delilah and them. You want to talk about Mary? Mary. Go yeah. ahead. Speak on Mary. What? We talk about Mary. What did Mary do? The Virgin Mary? Yeah. Fuck the nigga. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck the ghost. That shouldn't even count. <laughs> this bitch, man, with a nigga so hand packed, she said a ghost fucked me. God, and say so. Went for it. I'm hey. gonna get back on this Hennessy. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can say what you. We can disagree about Obama all day, but we not finna say Mary got pregnant by a ghost. Yeah. Who got a pregnant? Oh, oh. That's Jesus, mama. That's Jesus, mama. The Lord. So okay. a ghost came home. Who got a pregnant? Bruh. And the ghost was holy. Just, so it matters because the holy So the ghost. spirit thought she was so bad. Out of all the bitches on earth, Mary got fucked? Somebody said that's from the book of Thotonians, 13 <laughs> and 9. <laughs> book of Thotonians, 1349. 13, 9. M O S H E L. Moshe L. That's real. Don't tell me about a devout atheist. Ghost dad. I can't get with that. I believe niggas today will come home and say, my girl was immaculately receptive. I mean, would you accept that? Was impregnated by God. I believe it's niggas who will go for that. That's how he impact these niggas is out here mm-hmm. and want to tell like, you oh, that. One right yeah. now. look at Nate the Nate. baby yeah, the baby was up. Jesus <laughs> though it wasn't it yeah. wasn't just so the baby, the baby was, was Jesus yeah. the baby was Jesus yeah. though <laughs> she had the son yeah. of God she didn't just have some average ass uh, nigga yeah. like oh God's yeah, my dad yeah, nigga yeah, you yeah, work yeah. at McDonald's yeah. God ain't your daddy it was Jesus oh. God ain't your daddy they said Jesus rose from the grave am I right that's what happened in the Bible, right, Nate? Uh, on the seventh day. Did you see it? 
They said invisible nut. <laughs> right. Oh, that's but funny. But the Holy Ghost did. <laughs> man, <laughs> shit. Hey. Corey, that's heavy, man. Did you see? And 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 you, and you and Corey, you a wild oh, boy. Man, you a wild know. boy. But golly, man. Watch this. This going to fuck you up even more. Yeah. What date know. did that happen? Wait, what? What date did he rise? What was that? You ain't never thought about that, did you? Easter? <laughs> this nigga guess, uh, the resurrection the of Christ. What year was it? Winter time. Was zero. Jerusalem, nigga? <laughs> it was zero because we say before Christ and after Christ, before Christ and after death. So it must man, have been the day. Must have been zero, nigga. Anything, man, man, you got to go for that shit. Man. Casper <laughs> Skeet. <laughs> Casper Skeet. Shit, Holy man. stroke. Holy <laughs> 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 Man, man got, we got. It. I'm. I'm gonna pray, man. I can't. I can't play with God like that, man. You know, I'm not finna call Mary no thought. I'm sorry, and y'all can say what you want in there, nigga. Oh, I Jesus, but year they, zero. They can call me an ugly hermaphrodite because I believe in <laughs> Mary. <laughs> Yeah, this is Ghost of Rubber's Past. Sperm <laughs> 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 Oh, oh man. Going That's so heavy, nigga. That fear is a motherfucker, man. Uh, motherfuckers don't want to face that no, shit, dog. Oh, motherfuckers don't want to face really, really no. breaking down what they say in, their, in, in the greatest story <laughs> ever. <laughs> the greatest Jesus. fairy tale ever told. Man. Yeah. Man, man. Motherfucker, them women in the Bible was off the motherfucking chain. It's all how they wrote it. If it was a black woman, they'd have said, this bitch said she got pregnant by somebody named the Spirit. <laughs> but because it was Mary. Spirit is a pimp. Man. The only white bitch in that area, according to the motherfuckers. Because people didn't look like the Mary when no. they got the... The, the baby, I don't know where this bitch came from <laughs> and how she gave up that pussy. Everybody would have known. They would have been like, Saeed, scared. fuck Mary, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't want to get hit by lightning, man. I'm with the, I'm with it. it. Ain't you get hit it by ain't lightning, hit. it ain't had nothing to do with that no. bullshit. Trust me. That mean it wasn't in the books for you. Let today. me go back. Let me go back to what I said. Because I said some shit. shit. I said some shit that, that, that we can <laughs> actually apply to. The Willie Lynch letter and, and what it did to us slave mentality-wise was it made the women more dominant in the household because they were literally ripping the men apart. The whole point, the whole point of breaking the slaves in our culture was to take the strongest black man and to strap him between two horses and slap each horse ass and rip us literally to pieces. You but know what's that, that that ain't some back in the slavery when they no. invaded they Iraq. They still do that with defamation of our character. Iraq. Nigga, that's what that Bible is. Nigga, that's a big ass Willie List letter. <laughs> Right. <laughs> when they invaded <laughs> Iraq, I remember when them phones. <laughs> nigga, that's a, the, the, what was the phones where the thing flip out? Oh, man. Sidekick. Sidekick. Oh. Thank you, Nate. This nigga I know showed me on his sidekick. They was like, man, my cousin out there in Iraq, they said they just invaded a village. They pulled all the men out and they killed most of them in front of the people in the village. Mm -hmm. This didn't happen way back in slavery. This is what they did in Iraq. Right. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. White motherfuckers in charge. Right, but and what everybody's I, scared to say, all this shit on CNN about what happened with this, that, and the other. Bottom line, the white motherfuckers did it. Yeah. Any history is that is a from, yeah. Any history that is approved by Western society is propaganda. Hello. And an extension yeah. of white you supremacy. That. Yeah. But you know what, Nate? Look, I'm telling you, man, I'm looking at you and I don't know if it's um Whatever it is. But I'm here to tell you, you I know you younger than me, so you don't think like me. But I used to believe in Jesus and Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and <laughs> I know all the that outfit, shit. The outfit the is outfit. a devout <laughs> Santa Claus <laughs> believer, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> nigga. Looking like nigga <laughs> elf. Do not say Santa in that goddamn outfit. You derail the whole point. Man, all I'm right. saying, all I'm Man. saying is I think it's slave mentality for an African American woman to not let the father run run the household and at least at least in regards to his son. I agree with that. At least in, he may not even be in the household anymore, but when he's talking to his own son. Right. No, the problem who is. is who, who, it's about manhood. This is a transference of manhood. She called me because the way she treat dude in the house, she forgot I'm not dude. Right. That's all that was. I hope she come to her sisters and apologize right. with my son in front. Well, we could be like, look, That's we ain't going to do each other like that. Mm. But if Give not. What happened? What they say? Just they nigga, a lot. But <laughs> what they say? That, the Natrix. Uh, <laughs> the Natrix. 
I'm, I, I feel that I'll be honest, Damn. man. If y'all if y'all look up the Willie Lynch letter, some of that shit gonna ring true. You can be like, maybe oh, that no, is I why shit about, is like I know this. About Willie Lynch. Yeah, but everybody yeah, don't. So you gotta look it up. And I'm saying, I think a lot of that's why I, that's why I wasn't okay. And I bring it full circle. That's why I wasn't okay with being saying a certain thing about certain African American black man of prominence. I appreciate you taking that stance. What I'm, but when you can't, when it's getting me motherfucking crucified. Nah, <laughs> that shit. No, but the Bible is integral in the in the Willie Lynch. Oh mentality. man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the Let Bible was, the Bible is integral that. in all slavery because they flipped what what's suppo- what it's supposed to have meant. We okay, I've been so crucified, you, Nate. Whole bunch of people say, "Oh, oh, Corey, that's that nigga who hate women." But as people listen to me more and more, they be like, "It ain't that. He just be calling out people's shit." Right? Accountability, man. But at first, I was a nigga who hate women. There you go. To most that's people, a, yeah. okay. But it I ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm just gonna check that bullshit. But the chat room says, "Mary got boned by the Holy Ghost." <laughs> <laughs> that's what the Bible. Says. But here's the thing, or though. An here, angel. Here's and the, I believe it. But here's the thing, as a as a black no, man, don't. I believe that's how Jesus was conceived. I don't want to go He's super. He's the conscious. Son of God. I believe I, in the Holy Trinity. I do. I don't want to go super conscious, but, but as a black man, what would bother me is like, okay, so if you call yourself a Christian, I'm not saying you in general, just a figurative man. Then like, okay, so what kind of knowledge do you have of the African origins of Christianity? Wow. Because because yeah, you're talking about things that come after like Constantine, and you know what I mean. Like, we need to go into the or like, where does it come from? So if you right. call yourself a Christian, you have to know. Everything about it. Just don't know what was given to you. Right. But every Christian. That's why I said before, anything that's Western approved. Right. Right. In in terms of history. Is propaganda. Is propaganda. Yeah, but I'm I'm not. What you're saying essentially is every Christian needs to have a Christianity theological background. And that's a lot. So they can stop being followers. Because what you're saying. believers. What have you met in Christianity is the mental safe place for niggas who won't study who they are. Right. Mm. That hurts. Woo. What would you do? Take you, that, Nate. You, if you was a big football, or say a basketball fan, and you met a nigga that said he was the biggest basketball fan in the world and the greatest basketball player to ever live it was Nate Robinson. Was motherfucking Nate Robinson, right? Right. But you know, it's a hundred years of history on basketball before Nate. Right. And but how you, how you gonna be a fan of basketball and all you know is Nate Robinson? Right. You know, right. you gotta you gotta step outside your comfort zone, and and those things that make you uncomfortable, that's the fear that that book binds you with. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. if you go back to church and let anybody see this video, they're not gonna they fuck gonna with you. Say that the devil was attacking you. Right? Yeah, because the Christians are like, hold it steady, Nate. Don't be in there. <laughs> I don't. I don't have to. I don't fuck with the Bible because of fear. I fuck with the Bible because of faith. But that's the. But do you but know the difference between fear, fear and faith? I definitely do. I want to hear you both. Know I definitely do. do. you even Can know what I'm saying? I'm means. saying that fearlessly. What is? What say that again? What? What is the difference between fear and faith? It's a huge difference. I, that's what. That's what I was wondering. What y'all was gonna say? Right. You do you want to you want to say something about? Well, what to the me, it's is? a multifaceted answer because I don't think you can have faith if it's not based in truth. I think the only things. That you can really believe in are things that you can manifest from your mind and make a reality. See, th- I, I fuck you with know? this nigga right mm-hmm. here. You did a good job <laughs> in the selection mm-hmm. of another Dina nigga. Oh, here we go. Fuck with right. this nigga right Don't be trying here. to be all light like, skinned no, and bonded, nigga. Happened. When you scared to go outside, you <laughs> well, read all these scary ass Dina niggas. These niggas in here like, sinking up on the light skin tip. That's Man, crazy. Man. <laughs> yeah. But that's the only way, and, and, and that's the problem, like, that's the problem like that people may have with say Corey taking a stance or me taking a stance or you mm. it's the fact that they're not comfortable with somebody who is self-defined voicing their opinion and then at the same time most people who are consciously self-defined if it comes out that they may be wrong about something <laughs> then they'll acknowledge that like yeah nigga, I was on some bullshit mm. right. but people but you know what I'm saying so when you get older you evolve and no matter even if you try to act like you don't see it we could tell you see it. You playing dumb. That's right. what I say to so right. many people. Right. I mean, like, if you're 50 years old and you've been going to church for 20 years, you didn't see the bullshit. Man. Right. You just don't want to deal with it. You're comfortable. Yo, 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 you, you don't, because it's, it's demoralizing to find out that all of the shit that you entrusted was bullshit. Was right. That, it's like you got to start over, like Monique with her career. Oh, Father God, I come to you humbly, and I ask that you forgive those that do not know what they speak, Father God. I'm not going to let this platform be used to spit this blasphemy and, and, and atheistness, Father God. Whether they're, whether, whether they're right or they're wrong.
wrong, Father God. Forgive them for not knowing what they do. I but know let me atheists. Say this, Nate. Let me say now this let's get quick. back to the fuckery. Now let me say this real quick, Nate. Yeah, yeah. The Westerners made faith synonymous with belief, and it's not. I think the Westerners made faith synonymous with hope. All that shit. Let me. The word itself. But to me, fear yeah. has no place in that equation. But watch this. This man said. It's what you know, right? Yeah. That's what the fuck faith actually means. But because they don't let y'all read the language those books was written in, ah. we'll name our daughters Imani. Right. Mm. Iman. That's what the word faith means. Iman. Imani. It means fact beyond a doubt. Mm -hmm. Because those Arabs and those Soretic languages, those Hebrew languages came out of the African languages. Right. This is why your prayers are ending with amen. Right. Iman, right. imani, amen, all mean fact beyond a doubt. Right. So we turn the fact into a belief. And it's not the same. It's not the same. See, I can get you to believe some bullshit, and because you believe in it, and now it's real. Right. Why do you think you could fall out of love with a bitch? <laughs> What the fuck does if, that got to do with what he's talking about? It has a lot to do with it because if it was a real thing, you wouldn't be able to fall out of it. It's a belief. You believe that you this state of mind that you're in is a real thing. But then six months later, you can't stand the bitch. I hate her. That's because, you know what I'm saying? You, it, it's, it, you, it's not something you manifested. It's Nigga, love belief. ain't no matrix for me. I know when I, when, a motherfucker, when I can trust somebody and they, and they trust me back. And that's, that's, that's what we was talking about earlier. When that bond is broken, the shit ain't never going to be the same. What's the difference between loyalty and love? There's there's different types of love. What do you mean, eros love? What, what are you talking about? Okay, but, so like a dog. Now, this ain't right? nigga. The way you talking it has a uh, uh, gay remnants in it. You, but I didn't hear you answer. I can't. I can't. He said, yeah. "What's the difference between a loyal love nigga? What's the fuck? That's some gang love? talk shit. A loyalty to you, a loyal nigga. I love you, nigga. No, no nigga, I, that's not I the same shit. Talk about no gang nigga. I'm talking. I'm just I always try to ground myself in the reality. What's the like difference between loyalty and love? What's the difference? What is the difference? It's a huge difference. Okay. I want to hear it. Okay. The difference between loyalty and love, I believe that loyalty is a real... I think, I think loyalty is what you show and love is what you do. Loyalty is what you show. And Showing love and is, doing is... It's the same goddamn love thing. Love is what you do. It's the same thing. <sighs> How can, it sound good, no, and it would, it would make a hell of a refrigerator not, magnet. But nigga, I'm not finna be loving no not, bitches. It's not my love ain't thing. based on no goddamn loyalty, it's nigga. Really it's a hell of a bumper sticker, nigga. It's but I'm not out here, thing. bitch. I love you because you're loyal, <laughs> nigga. It's not the same thing. No, it, it definitely. Loyal, I got nigga. friends that are loyal to me and my career and my craft and me as a person, but I don't love them like that, nigga. Right? Crazy. It's not the same thing at all. Okay, because for me to show loyalty, I have to be separate from you. That, that, I, I can show you <laughs> loyalty. <laughs> <a> disgrace, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Loyalty nah. and love are not the same thing, bro. I didn't say they were the same thing. Well, I want to say the this difference about is, <laughs> He asked me what the difference is. I said loyalty is what you show. You come to like Darlene yeah. comes to this show every week. That's loyalty. Right? Yes. And it's All not right. to be taken for granted. Right, right, right. Okay, right. so every week, what so does she do? One, one thing, she comes to the show. It's one, all, it's one all thing what you, is how you say it. One thing what? is receiving. The other thing is taking. So do you think she's coming out of loyalty to the show or she's coming out of love to the show? I mean, it could evolve. I mean, I don't know what it is. I can't speak for her state of mind. You see how weird that shit is now? It's not weird. <laughs> you could be gray area. Well, you show up to a job every day. You're loyal oh, to the job. That don't mean shit. you love the job, nigga. It's not the same oh, motherfucking I thing. Exactly. I've seen people do. The same I've seen people be thing. disloyal to people look, that they love. Nigga, if you buy a lion and raise that lion and feed it, it's going to be loyal to you. But if you don't feed that motherfucker, it's going to turn around and eat you. Nigga, a lion is a lion. I, I, but I'm just saying, though. No, a lion is a lion. You, Fool or not, at some dog. point it's going to do lion a, shit. A, dog. a chihuahua. You're going to eat whatever's smaller than you, nigga. That's because you love yourself more than that loyalty that that smaller thing is showing you. That's why that, I'm glad you brought that up. Because, see, in, in, in my opinion, it ain't nothing out here but love and fear. Right. Those are two things that needs to be compared. Because, right. see, what you love, you put effort into. Right. When you love it, you put effort into it. And people can measure your love mm. by how much effort you put into it. Fearlessly. But check this out. Fear, that is the ultimate word. 
if people don't fear you, they're not going to do right by you. No, no, right. no we can go even deeper. It has right. nothing to do with the outside person. Fear controls people and themselves. Their fear of their own success. Their fear of what they can accomplish. Their fear of what they can achieve and how they may be perceived. They they are incapacitated by it. Read, uh, read, yeah. wait, read wait, no, wait. I'm saying I'm saying this is real shit. Read the fiftieth law of power and you'll see that fear fear moves and fear incapacitates. Fear can motivate. What about the negative? I'm gonna be honest. Fear is the ultimate. Yeah, but, but listen. People act like they love Jesus Christ because of fear. It, well, shit, that's not what I was gonna say. I was gonna bring it full circle for the Monique some thing. And, that ain't never revealed itself to you. That imaginary ass shit. Yeah, you but, fear what happens when you die, so you act right. like you love Jesus. Right, but Christianity, right. Christianity, or whatever people's deity or whatever they believe in, has manifested to them in many different ways. Okay. Everybody has their own walk and their own way that God has revealed Himself to them. Okay, let's go rent. Let's go rent. I see it. He he want to respond to so, your shit. <laughs> so tell me, could could we say religion is like? Spiritual insurance. <laughs> For sure. All state like a motherfucker. It's spiritual insurance. <laughs> and, I, and I'll tell you why. I got to hear the rest of it. Like, I'll that's, tell you why. That's because a great law, but I don't know if I want to talk that. I, I want to know what you but mean. But I'll tell you why. Because there's two types of fear. Okay. There's real fear, which represents clear and present danger. Yeah. If I'm in a motherfucking zoo and the gate is open and a fucking lion comes out, yeah. that's clear and present danger. That's real fear. If I'm in a bank, somebody walks in, put a gun to my head, yeah. that's clear and present danger. Okay. But here's the analogy between insurance and religion. They're both anxiety businesses. The anxiety of not being covered. Man, I can't drive that's my real. car. Yeah. Right. I can't drive my car without insurance or... I if something happens, you hear a lot of so, preachers. So let me get this right. You, Luke, before you go back into uh, 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 theology, you're saying fear can be manufactured. Of course. Well, now, now I agree. I agree fully with that. The technical term of false fear is anxiety. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I don't know. And there's a spiritual anxiety that says, and you see these motherfuckers playing this script at funerals. It's instead of talking about the dead motherfucker, they're busy trying to convert people by using the dead person. Right. Now, I don't know what Brother Whoopty Whoop was, but I know he was tight with God. Right. And I know he going off to a better place. If there's somebody I'm out there who is not right with God. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Now is the time mm -hmm. to get that anxiety. That's spiritual insurance. Bottom line, come on. What man. you fear is what you respect. That's true. Mm. But there's different That's types. That's the bottom That's fucking real line. Shit right that there. rotten, dirty ass, dirtbag, motherfucking bully. Mm -hmm. He gets respect from you because you fear him. Right. Mm. He gets more respect than you give your mama. So fear is a belief. Because you fear him. Fear Whatever the thinker and thinks, love. Approve or That's what yeah. it's all about. Love is the shit you put effort into. Right. I mean, like, even if a motherfucker say, I don't love this, but I put effort into it, I don't even believe that shit. You okay. love that shit you put effort into. This what I want to I, I I say, say this. Lonely. I want to say this. Both fear and love, to a certain extent, have been manufactured and uh, merchandised. Right? Now, when you talk about anxieties, though, you can't be phony with neither one of them. No, I'm gonna say this. Right. I went, this is I went snorkeling in Seychelles off the coast, 600 miles south nigga, of Madagascar. You can't snorkel, nigga. Hell no, I went was snorkeling you went like a mother you, you was walking <laughs> on the. I ocean was hanging floor, on to a rope on the boat, looking in the, the goddamn ocean. Now, oh, listen, listen. Something to hold you up, right? But listen, no. But I'll say this. I'll say this though. I'll say this. I was not in any clear and present danger. But based on what I've seen on National Geographic with killer white white whales and, and killer whales, I was like, nigga, I, I, I should not. Be. I was I was terrified, nigga. But I was like, but I, I got to try and conquer this fear. Right. So I understand where the anxiety is a thing. And our, our society can manufacture that to make it feel like it's such a thing. That's right. how I feel about love to a certain extent, too. This mm. February 14th is coming up. is so trash to me. The manufactured. Yeah. Right. Manufactured intimacy. Mm -hmm. manufactured so I'm not delusional. Yeah, good point, I'm, I'm extreme. I'm a realist about good this. Point, Nate. But there is a clear and present difference between loyalty and love. Somebody can be loyal to you with or without loving you. 
Say it again. Loyalty and They don't have love to love you to be loyal to you. For the most part. That's they why don't. I said they're separate. They're not the same thing. Right, and I agree but, with you. But, but five minutes ago, you said they're the same thing. No, I didn't. I never said that because I know people who are loyal just because they might possibly make a dollar. I know people who are loyal that's because. That's what I was just about to say. Loyalty and love are both conditional. Right. Yeah. For, for sure. most people, real love is unconditional. Why you think but you're not scared? Real to love is rarer than a motherfucker too. Why yeah. you think you're not scared to go to hell until you become a Christian? But pe- uh, most people aren't Christians because they're afraid of hell. Most people are Christians because they envy going to heaven. They envy going to heaven. They want to go to heaven, or because they want to go to heaven. Well, I think most envy. I, I, I think I'm most people. Those two words, but don't hold on to that. Uh, I'm just trying to understand. So the, 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 the a lot of black people are Christians because when they look at people who are dead. The white people have come up with an option after you did, so they go with that. And definitely don't ask Native. <laughs> and hell is a new concept. They didn't came up with an option. After no, you die, you can go to heaven or hell. There was no if you do this, yeah. you're going to heaven. You go if you don't do this, you going to hell, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, everything they're doing is hell bound. You all up in it, nigga. You <laughs> going to hell. <laughs> but if I, cor- correct me if I'm mistaken, though, but hell is a relatively new concept, like five or six hundred years old. Sure. Let me say this though, Don't because no, let me say this, because I respect the comments enough. Somebody said that I did say Fuck that they were the hell. same. I want to go back and say, one, I don't think I did, but if I did, I, I'll go back and say I, that's not what I meant. Uh, I do uh, not what? think love and loyalty are the same thing. I, I, I am clear about there being a difference. No, no but no, you, at first you weren't. You said they were the same. No, you asked me and I didn't but respond. Saying, and then Corey said, well, then you thing. define it, and then you spoke but on your but, own. I never got to say, no, to saying, my recollection. I'm not saying you're wrong. That's a part of being <laughs> self-defined. If that's what the fuck you feel, yeah. I respect right. it, nigga. But I'm just saying in my experience, like dealing with these bitches and with life in general, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Loyalty and love ain't this. It's a, they Most just, people are Christians because their parents are. Right. right. That's for sure. Yeah, I give you that because you are, their you, nation you, is. Right. Yeah, but Nate, the, if you were born in Saudi Arabia, you'd, you'd be, be a Muslim. Muslim. Or if you were yeah. a native. And you would be thin. Right. If you were a native. <laughs> 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 hey, and you it. wouldn't be dressed like Christmas. Like no I can't <laughs> believe you got on a Christmas outfit talking this blast from me about Jesus. Raised on hummus. You'd be thin in a motherfucker. Hey, you know who Neely Fuller is? Uh-uh. Should get a bar of him, man. He's a he's he's Nene Neely N E L L Y. Okay, okay. Look, we didn't take a break yet. I got uh, the piss out of the show <laughs> I don't know. Eight, uh, eight, eight like, like eight fifteen. Oh, oh shit! We been we been talking that. Shit. This is what we finna do. We finna take a quick piss break, and we gonna come back. We gonna do a quick song, and we gonna wrap it up. Fifty one fifty. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah that. I got the piss. Oh
5150 in the house. Got a little bullshit ass song we thought of during the break. Is this the beat we're going to do it to? Yeah, this is the same. I feel like this is different. This is different. Frank, play the one you play. This is it. Go. Is it go? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh. Obama ain't no gay nigga. Yes, he is. Nigga, Obama ain't gay. Yes, he was. Obama ain't no gay nigga. Yes, he is. Nigga, Obama ain't gay. Yes, the fuck he was. You talking about heaven? He talking about hell? I know Obama ain't gay because I seen the ass on Michelle. Obama ain't no gay nigga. You saying this? Obama ain't gay. I'm saying that. Obama ain't no gay nigga. But the truth, nigga, Obama ain't gay. He was a fag. Oh Taking up for that nigga who was gay in the NBA who liked to look at dicks in the locker room all day. Fuck Obama and fuck all the motherfuckers who like asses and drama. <laughs> nigga, what? Obama ain't no gay nigga. Yes, he is. Nigga, Obama ain't gay. Yes, he was. Obama ain't no gay nigga. Yes, he is. Nigga, Obama ain't gay. Yes, he was. <laughs> Oh, turn this mic on. Obama ain't no gay nigga. Mike Cole, though. You're Mike Cole. You do you, 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 you okay, I can hear it. Oh, there you go, Frank. Yeah. 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 Let me pick him back can up. You I'm hear be, me I'm, now. Let me send you some hook in. Okay, uh, put yeah. that hook back together. <laughs> Fucking hustle. Uh. Come on now. Obama Let's ain't move. no gay nigga. Yes, he yeah. Nigga, Obama ain't gay. Yes, he was. Nigga, Obama ain't no gay nigga. Yes, he is. Corey, that nigga ain't gay. No. Oh, yes, he was. <laughs> but what did he do for you and me? I felt like we should be free. But eight years of nothing and it's back to this misery. And that shit love company. And that freestyle I'm kicking is the truth. I'm doing it to the youth so they can hear me in the booth. On the 5150 show, kicking it slow, not swiftly, though. The beat may change up, shit gets stranger, and you feel danger. Get your ass in the manger with that little baby you worship named Jesus Christ. It's Mike Device to have me spitting like I wasn't nothing nice. And I'ma go ahead and pass the mic back to my nigga to the left so he can blow that whistle minus the ref yeah. for re, and it's me. <laughs> Pac-Man from the city of the rose okay. Where you hold niggas get exposed And the wrong path yeah. gets chose Obama ain't no gay nigga oh, Yes no. he is Obama ain't gay Yes he was God damn it he ain't no gay nigga Yes he <laughs> is Obama ain't gay Yes the fuck he was Man I'm in the building and I'm trying to keep it real But okay. you niggas is acting like Dr. Phil Off of a pill uh. Rolling downhill Like you found the holy field uh, when you touch that girl, then yell, talking about catch me outside, nigga. How about that? Uh, bitch, meet me outside, and we gonna see about that. Cause uh. I feel like in real life, bitch, you ain't about that. Yeah. Uh. Cause Obama ain't no gay nigga. But what are y'all we addressing? Y'all niggas like y'all high. <laughs> but what are we addressing? Immaculate conception. A ghost fucked a be- woman. Now she had a baby named Jesus. Yeah. Look at the shit they feed us. Yeah. We feeble and they need us. Yeah. But we don't know the power. The shit gets strong about an hour. Yeah. And some niggas like to cower, but I like to straight devour. Anybody that ain't bout it, I'ma scream and I'ma shout it. Cause I'll never be without it. The thing blow and you get doubted yeah. if you fuck with me. Craig yeah. Smith. Yeah, I fuck with you, Craig, cause that's yeah. the thing. I'm a black man and I'm proud, goddammit, I'm living the American dream. He said, Craig High Key washed. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny in the Obama yeah. ain't no gay, nigga. Yes, yes he, he was. Is. Obama ain't gay. Yes, he was. <laughs> On God, Obama ain't no gay, nigga. Oh, yes, he is. God damn it, Corey, the nigga ain't gay. <laughs> Yo, he took up for the niggas who like the dick in the ass. Oh, I still shit. remember all that shit he said from the past. Uh, yeah. No, he gonna start beating on the table. <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> I give it to you. <laughs> keep, keep the he beat going. He gave us a beat. We, we went for- we went from motherfucking uh, crazy bass to the African drums. <laughs> Where are these beats from, nigga? That was that shit was <laughs> jazzy to the Niggas life. out there got fire. You need to get one of them niggas that be beating them buckets down by the uh, by the, by the <laughs> North Hollywood Station. Them <laughs> niggas will keep a beat for you. You really doing an album? No, I want to be on that motherfucker, man. man. We gonna get that shit cracking, man. Hell yeah, I'm trying mm. to do it. Shit cracking. We we um, Darlene got um, some information from a brother who sent us some shit. It's another black business. Oh really, brother in yeah. Chicago? What, what's what's up. up, D? Who is the nigga? Uh, this is, is the thank, we want to thank the hot sauce boss. Uh, his name is uh, Malik. 
Right? His handwriting right there. Uh, <laughs> I can't he, see it. You, you can go to the hotsauceboss.com. C-Lo Holcomb. They call this nigga uh, C-Lo Holcomb. He said he's said from Coon the Southside Chicago, Logan, <laughs> Bronzeville. Does that sound right? Bronzeville. That's All like, right. that's like the hood. Martin Luther King Drive. It's a black business. He said it's an African-American family business. His headquarters is in Chicago. This is some he black He said he is too. the pioneer in the future, future of hot sauce. He specializes in never before experienced flavors and also, yeah, yeah. he said it's the first hot sauce that doesn't cause uh, acid reflex. Oh, shit. Um, high blood pressure or upset stomach. Does it um, have weed in it? There's a couple of fla- uh, flavors. This is spicy, spicy kush. kush. Guava, I mean, mango, coconut, it. spicy lime, kush. So available at the Hot Sauce Boss. Kush. How do they get to them? Uh, Thehotsauceboss.com. And also, he wrote a little story to you talking L-L-Cool about when he... <laughs> First time I ever snuck into a 21 and over establishment. LL Coon J. I was running from a shootout <laughs> at the Dalton Expo and ducked into Giovanni's Pizzeria in Dalton. Okay. As soon as I walked in, a woman in front row threw a pitcher of beer on a woman at another table. A fight ensued, and you started roasting both groups of women fighting <laughs> from the stage. And the entire duration of the fight, I've been riding with you ever since, Corey. I fucking remember that shit. Wow. That's what's wow. up. The hot sauce I boss. You guys go out and support him. to make the best out of it. Yeah. Oh. That's crazy that, did, that, that you remember that shit. What's wow. his name Mo- again, Malik? Malik? It's hot sauce down there. He didn't hey, Malik, get your, get your thing on. Y'all go and Man, see the hot sauce support this brother. There you go. And help that brother something. jump his shit off. The That's hot delicious. sauce box. He's calling it the healthy hot sauce. Raccoon. The healthy hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it says Kush, but it didn't have no Killing weed it. on the ingredients. Nope. Oh, it didn't? No. Just for the but record. But all the best to you, Malik. Somebody, Somebody say Kush. Corey hot failed phonics. Coon Tang Clan. And we're going to try it the out. The Coon Tang <laughs> Clan. <laughs> Somebody say Corey don't read well. <laughs> These things act like they got a hashtag. Put Coon in the rap name read. challenge. <laughs> Derek Sullivan. Derek Sullivan. Coogee Plaque. <laughs> they going uh, in. Like These Corey Reed like he a gun point. <laughs> 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 Read that shit, Corey. Uh, 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 they want their demands met with the hot sauce. <laughs> 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 yeah, Thank you for that, Malik. Please support anyway, these man, guys. Yeah. Yo, this was a long show, but it's oh. because, you know, we got five people on the mic and it's a lot of talent on the mic and we we just we just ran with it, man. So I just want to say to y'all, thank you for supporting the 5150 show. Um, <laughs> Nate, what's your handle again? Man, listen, before I say my I got to say this. I've been I've been watching the show. I've been watching. You from lost, the- nigga. No, no, I'm no. just kidding. Oh, <laughs> nigga, uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I am not Aries, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> shit. All I was going to say was, on some real shit, after we did last week's show, so many people hit my Instagram. That shit blew my fucking mind. These niggas came through like an army, nigga. All the little fist emojis and shit. 5150 uh, army, nigga. Yeah, nigga, but you be real. saying a lot of shit clearly today. You just be saying stuff. But that shit was real. <laughs> it came to fruition. And them niggas is really on their shit. <laughs> Whether y'all fuck with me or y'all don't fuck with me, this was a good ass goddamn show, and I appreciate y'all for fucking my little Instagram, man. Thank you, Corey, for no, that shit. It's Mr. Real, Nate man. Jackson, though. At Mr. Nate, Nate Jackson, Jackson, man. At Mr. Nate um, Jackson. Um, so that's how they get at you. Um, Zo, how they get at you? They- Same thing, man. At LightscapeNiggas.com. What? <laughs> On Instagram. <laughs> at Zo, what? Yeah. Come holla at your boy. D, what's your handle? <laughs> Darlene OG Ortiz and I have a in, I have a signing coming up finally for and it's been a long time but I'm going to do a personal signing it's going to be at the, the women's little gathering I went to recently they're having another one in the end of March and I'll post it up on my social media anyway it's going to be all those same lovely women but now it's both men and women. It's called a, a sip and shop. So there's going to be a bunch of people selling their goods, which I was going to mm. talk about. There ain't going to be a lot of pussy sucking that night. It's going to be dead pussy getting beat up. They oh, let the men in there. They are. Pat, so pat, men pat, can pat, come. Pat, it's $15 pat, pat, to get in, though. But, I mean, you know, you get to see. $15? Yes. You know how black people be. Like, Man. Stop. Anyway, but, no, it's, it's a lot of black businesses that are going to be in there. I'm mm. going to be in there signing books and selling books. So. That's what's up. Craig, what's up? What's your handle? How motherfuckers get at you? Oh, man, you could find me on uh, Instagram. Why are you at, talking R&B, nigga? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm fucking right. At, at, at the Craig Smith, T-H-E-E-K-R-A-I-G oh, man, Smith. you can find me on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to my website, too, the Craig Smith. Buy some I shirts and shit. I you can find me nice. on. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 
Do, 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 do. Find me at your bitch house, <laughs> coon <Coon-dee. Yeah. laughs> I go snatch her from you, nigga. Yeah, she gonna tell you I'm a ghost. <laughs> Every, everybody in the uh, in the Buffalo, New York area, y'all come fuck with me this weekend. I'm at the uh, Buffalo Comedy Club Helium out mm. there, so y'all come fuck with me this week, man. No mics, uh, no chairs. Damn, these niggas got a helium out there too. Yeah, dog. You nigga, better. helium was only in Portland. They are what nine clubs now? They growing, man. Yeah. With you. I hope Church. so. They just start booking them niggas. That's how they grow. Hell yeah, yeah. Because we the, we the draw, man. If you if you Chevy. know comedy and what's going on in the last twenty years, you understand that the <laughs> black headliners are too. who people are buying tickets for. <laughs> That's real shit, though, Nate. But look, I want to say to the people who I offended, uh, I'm sorry that I offended you. I, if I said something that was out of bounds to you, that's fucked up. But if I said something that wasn't solid. Yeah, holler at me about it. We can talk about it. Mm-hmm. Can I Can I do that too? Shit. Don't just leave me out here in the Go wilderness. <laughs> the wilderness said, of fuckery. We may have disagreed on some of the shit I said. <laughs> but I'm saying- But like, I ain't no motherfucking bitch. I'm a goddamn man. We had fun in the comments, but on some real shit. Niggas can talk and have a conversation. That's what this was. This right. Right, uh-huh. right, right, right. For sure. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I love y'all niggas. <laughs> Big Daddy <laughs> King. I'm more foul than everybody in here. I wish I could see some of these niggas. That's man. that motherfucking <laughs> RB ass <laughs> shit. I love it. <laughs> fuck <laughs> everybody <laughs> in here. I love that real <laughs> shit. Say, this nigga ended the show like, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Corey. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's, that's that old Lenny. Them early 80s references, nigga. He's, he's still got that Eddie Murray baseball card at the house, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga, that Ricky Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Henderson. <laughs> Rod Carew, nigga. <laughs> that Sha Na Na motherfucking videotape, nigga. Okay, so. Okay, Jose can say good Good night, sweetheart. Uh, yeah. That's showing nigga age right there, nigga. That's right. Look at yeah, Nate looking like, fuck the nigga talking about. Yeah, right, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. Bro, that's elderly <laughs> nigga shit right there. Yeah, yeah. All right, dude. everybody. Whoever get the fuck they bitch before they go to bed, you a real nigga. A lot of hey. y'all niggas scared to wake up. And go shit. raw. I love y'all niggas, man. Put I some grease it. in your hand. Go up in that bitch right now. Oh. Like, give me that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my man, gay. That nigga say I smack, nigga. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> if I smack oh. you, switch you, hoe ass nigga. He said a nigga switch and shit. <laughs> I right, be smoking. Good shit. We up out of here. Something happening outside. Oh. <laughs> Gooey raccoon out there with four niggas with um, <laughs> leotards on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>